This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Throw gang. I say this every week, but I am especially excited this week. We are joined by the Baron of the Braided Beard, the Prince of Pockets, the Emir of Engineering, the Kublai Khan of Queens, the Swag Lord of El Salvador, the Lord of Long Island City, the King of Collabs, the Red Baron of Red Burks. Are these garments even engineered, bro? His Honor of the High Low, NY Tilly Die, 4S on the Chest, former creative director of Engineered Garments and founder slash designer of 4S Designs, Angelo Urusha. Howdy ho. Wait, you're telling me somebody engineered this garment? <laughs> you tell, Don't look at me. <laughs> Wait, that's how you pronounce Angelo's last name? Uh, it's not, but I don't I don't care. According Wait, to how do you, so how Jeremy you, Kirkland, that's how you yeah, say it. So when know, you introduce yourself, you... Urutia, but no one, no oh, one can what say the fuck? that. What's, what's like the, the Mayo way that I can say that? Arudia. Arudia. Okay. Arudia? I, I mean, I don't want to offend. No, I mean, no. I offend enough people just by living. No, 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 no you're that, fine. You know? You're fine. Damn it. See, I purposely listened. I purposely listened to your Blamo interview so I could get your name right. Oh, well, he's got one tick now. Right? <laughs> More than one. Yeah. You're on fucking notice, Jeremy. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. All good. Uh, hi. How are you guys? What's up, dude? How are you? Angela, long time fucking coming. Don't, like don't, very... don't say anything cringeworthy on this podcast. I know you were you were being hard on yourself about your blammo appearance, but <laughs> yeah, no corn. No yeah, corn balls on this side. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, I think. Yeah. No I think. ums, don't no blow us, it, no likes. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. a hard man to pin down. Yeah. This podcast has been weeks in the making. Yeah. Though you blamed the cancellation on me, which was just blatantly false, threw me under the fucking bus. We were supposed to do it at Raul's, no? Right next to the fortune teller? Were we? What? Were we actually, well, that was what Angelo was pitching to me, is he wanted to record in Raul's, which is would be the most unlistenable, it would be yeah. awesome no, time up, for upstairs us. Upstairs is not so bad. Upstairs? You can get access to the upstairs, or you gotta, does that I, cost money? I got, I got a burger at 10 p.m. the other night. The Wait. Part, the bartender is friendly with Oh, me. right, because they typically sell it out of burgers by like 4.30 or whatever it is. No, right? no, I think like 6. six? They, they open at 5. Is it as good as everyone yeah. says? It's amazing. And they only have like, what is it, like 10 But I or just whatever? heard, yeah, yeah, they make like, I don't know how many. Right. But I Limited just heard quantities. that they have it on the weekend. What? I know. But who wants to go to Raul's on the weekend? <laughs> but they keep a few on deck for VIPs, for VIPs? I don't know. He <laughs> just, I, I sat down and he's like, VIP I got, patty, he's like, dude. He said, uh, <laughs> I got a burger for you if you want it. I was like, Goddamn! You didn't even have to ask. Yeah, no. What do you knew? What would you yeah. normally get when you go there? Like steak frites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raul's is good. I feel like it's Raul's is hyped up. Yeah. First of all, ambiance, fucking yeah. Oh yeah, amazing. Great amazing, old New York type beat. But uh, the food is really good. I'm a the food fan. is I'm a fan. really good. The food is really good. Check yeah. it out, friends at home. Um, Angelo, you're not familiar with this pod, right? I don't think you've ever listened somewhat. To this. Okay, somewhat. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do, and this is gonna be especially fun with you because you always come. Fucking fit it. Yeah. Dripped up, <laughs> fucking draped out. I have a good story. Fucking too. shining, blinging everywhere. Oh, we're, we're, gonna, all, we're all about storytelling. On this yeah, yeah. We're going to do uh, a fit check and you're going to walk the audience through every element of your outfit. The question for you, sir, is do you want to start top down or you want to start bottom up? Uh, I don't know. That's my first. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to yeah, count. We're, we're, we're pauses. keeping track. There's going to be so, a meter. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough question, it's man. Very I'm going to be judged forever. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. there is a correct answer. If you choose, I'm going to do bottom because you Ooh. said you said you right. recognize my shoes. That in is the a correct answer. So. Yeah. Oh, it is. If you had started yeah, yeah. top down, a you're a cop, b we just end the podcast. Right yeah, now. and we kick your ass out. That's how it goes, man. How does the bunker? The, we're, we're back in oh. the German bunker. The by the German way. bunker. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's uh, that's the test. You passed the test. So let's start with the kicks. What are you wearing today? Uh, I they sent me some these old schools and bands, balls. And uh, I have a recycled Chrome Hearts little plate on them. Because yeah, what is, what is recycled it? from where? Like the from floor, my the floor from my real my real Chrome Heart vans that I had previously. Okay. Wait, had with a, like the eyelets are are chrome yeah exactly exactly. What happened to those? Did you just wear? They them? died. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were sautéed and flambéed. Shout out, chef. They <laughs> died. They died a B-town. dishonorable death. But yeah. I got a pair of Londons coming. That okay, I'm really Ooh. excited about. So uh, you're a big. You're a big Chrome guy. I love Chrome. Let's, can I we talk? So Chrome Hearts Let's is a very, you know, this is a, divisive. Yeah, it's a big topic of conversation on this podcast. We've had people come through and admonish it. We've had people come through and hype it up in like a novelty way. But mm-hmm. you have a genuine love of Chrome. Yeah, I mean, the make is probably the best out of that whole family. The 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 family the that is Starks. No, no, no. no. There, there's a Starks. guy named, to my understanding, there's a guy named Gabor. 
who was like like Jaja. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a, it's a real brand. But yeah, like is like that a Zaza. Real laugh? Is she from yeah. Hungary? Is she from Hungary? I'm, yes. from, I'm from Hungary. Shout out to my Hungarian. Because this guy Hungary. is was the silversmith for the Hungarian royal court. Wow. And what? he's and he's working with the Chrome. No, Mark no, no, now? no. He he was the guy who had his disciples move to L.A. <laughs> Seriously, and he taught like Bill Wall, the Chrome Hearts guys, and uh, I think it's their the, his their name or his husband and, and wife are the Starks, right? Yeah, yeah, the like, Starks. Yeah, yeah. Like and uh, no, I was yeah. thinking of the third guy that I can't oh, remember wow. who it was. But you, but well, you, Bill Wall, you okay. know. And so basically, he taught them a way to make you know. To I think to the blind eye, it looks like L.A. kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say trashy, but it's like, you to know gauche, how you see us, to us, to us. It's kind of like when you see a Ferrari, it's like, yeah. you know, it's trashy Ferrari. and fast, but <laughs> it's a beautifully made. It's a beautifully made. Well, you're like, a craftsman. You're, you're a product e, guy through yeah. and through. You're yeah. an engineer. <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. respect the yeah. motherfucking well, I, I craft. Do, I, I respect the craft. Yes, I respect mm. the How craft. much chrome hearts do you own? And is it all hard goods? You don't own like a sweatshirt, do you? Or do you? I don't. Okay. I do Are not. you in the market for a fake Chrome Hearts trucker cap. You can with, have you can have mine. With yeah, you have one. Yeah. Plastic. Yeah, has a, it has a plastic. <laughs> I, I went to I went to Carbone. So <laughs> <laughs> now you have no use I went for to it. Carbone the one, one time. <laughs> <laughs> that one time. Yeah. Aww. you should go again. Oh, it was. Oh, were you gonna pay for it? We fucking paid over. Uh, let's G see. Let's Carbone. see how yeah. the second season goes. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, make it four dollars. Wait. So what designs. other what other Chrome? Do you have a Chrome? Do you have a Chrome Rolex? No, no, no. Mine is. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, we'll get not. to that. OK, not no, 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 no. What, what, what other? What it's other, on my list, though. Yeah. yeah. I, what other you know, show someday. pieces uh, of chrome uh, do you have? chromed up on camera? No, I mean, some glasses and I don't know. My little girl has more, actually, than I do. She has <laughs> really? like barrettes and like clips. and Oh, nice. Gifts, gifts. Yeah, and, yeah, sure, sure. No, seriously. Are you on I would Chrome not... Hearts flow team? <laughs> I don't think I legally can say anything. Oh, shit. Damn. Ooh. Okay. That's, well, listen, that says everything. <laughs> well, most yeah, people no, wearing, she, she most gets... people wearing Chrome Hearts are tax evaders. Yeah. So. For, that's for that's, God, that's I need, I need yeah. to get on that game. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, what, kind of so- what, kind of, what kind of, what kind of socks are you wearing today? I don't Angelo? know. They're like generic. Those look like Uniqlo. I know Uniqlo Yes, sock. they might be Uniqlo. My brother <laughs> was Uniqlo sock when he sees my one. I know bro- the ribbing. My brother assaulted me the other day about it. He's like, you wear Uniqlo socks? I'm like, yeah, what, is that Okay. But anyway, yeah, Uniqlo. Wait, is he, Wait, is he, is he a John's that? enthusiast? Is he a, he's a, he's, is he a sock snob? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Just socks, though. No, I think a lot of other stuff. But yeah. Really? Yeah, is yeah, he in yeah. the garment game? He, he works at the Nepenthe shop. Oh, Ooh. shit. Yeah. Is he your older or younger brother? Younger. younger okay. Brother, yeah. but he, so you rubbed you off on brother. him. You've created a monster. <laughs> no, you know what happened? I hired him for the shop because Nepotism. I was... I did everything. <laughs> I did everything at some point. And yeah. then I, when the, the, the shop Penthes. first opened, <laughs> I was running it a bit from like with one pinky. And I told Daiki, I was like, I got to hire somebody that I can trust. I need a can, warm body. Yeah. No, no, no. A spy, basically. Right, right. <laughs> a mole? Yeah. You need a man on the inside. An inside Exactly, man. exactly. I'll pay him in chrome hearts. I kind of, yeah. I kind because I was going nuts. So uh, yeah, he was hired for that. And then he stayed. Damn. Yeah. And he's still there. He's still there. Give yeah. him a mouse. Well, you you he, truly created a monster if he's fucking criticizing your socks. Yeah. Your sock what is the only well, like fucking like rare anonymism and even like rare brands that we don't even know about? No, like he's like, brands <laughs> that don't even exist yet. <laughs> I think he like recognizes like different target runs of weirdo Hanes socks. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Like, he, oh, yeah. this is like he's like this, a connoisseur this, of low uh, and if high. You know, and mid. you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can I only think, get this at I a hunch at a hunting shop in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah something to that effect. And, yeah. and let's talk about your your stripper trousers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That, that are, uh, are, are we have a friend who shall not be named because God forbid we give up the location of Z Jum and Banka. But, <laughs> Banka. He was, but he was uh, he was admiring them. What, so what exactly are these pants? They're uh, they're from my collection for the coming fall, and they're wool cotton boucle tweed. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, sparkly, a little sparkly. Uh, they're a little sparkly. Sh- shine it. They're bust down trousers. Yeah, they are. They are. Angelo got my trousers going nuts, dude. <laughs> I never knew that was how it was pronounced. I thought, was, I thought it was buccal. <laughs> nice, on, nice. I love it. I'm this whole podcast it. is actually a project where we like. Uh, educate young and men. Educate Chuck yeah. on the finer things in life. We, we, nice. we find disaffected and at risk youth, and we uh, <laughs> we get them addicted to jaunts yeah. to keep them off the street. Oh, oh it's oh. pronounced rigatone <laughs> and boucle. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's boucle. Yeah, boucle boucle. rigatoni. <laughs> Have you had charred octopus? It's very good. Yeah. It's like a sea weenie of some sort. <laughs> he had octopus at Carbone for the first time. He had never tried octopus ever. 
I have a friend who doesn't eat any seafood because he comes from the school of thinking that, you know, seafood was given to inmates. It's like oh. the insect of the sea. Oh, like co- like uh, lobsters used to be considered yeah. like the cockroaches of yeah. the sea. Yeah. yeah. Sea I never bugs. I never Damn, had seafood dude. until Yo, I met Lock them. me the fuck up. Yeah. You ever had lobster, Chuck? <laughs> no. Really? It's scary. It's just claws. <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't dead. know. <laughs> it's dead. Is it? it yeah. Is it, uh, they I'll, boil them shits, dude. Oh, I don't know. I'm allergic, so I don't know. To all oh, seafood? Shit. A uh, shellfish. Damn. Yeah, I know. My wife took me to this kosher uh, Chinese place in, I want to say Queens. Sounds that like makes, Queens. Oh, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they have like fake shrimp. How was it? it? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't even have a memory of it, <laughs> so, to be honest. So, so, so not that memorable, to be honest. Never had shrimp. No, no, no. no. Well, the times that I found out as a child that ah, I really? was allergic to it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Did you almost okay. die? Uh, I blew up like my face and blows up shock and on deck. Like, yeah, too. but uh, it'd if be you, dangerous if you because like with that beard, you could very easily <laughs> yeah, yeah, some right? shrimp <laughs> fragment or whatever like yeah. in the fucking your, well, flavor your, flavor, saver. your flavor saver situation is on yeah. point, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the beard is just like a fucking spoon. You could lap it up, dude. Wait, so these let's get back to these pants. So oh, yeah. you mentioned that they're made of like five different materials. Yeah. What's the deal? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're made for some company that I don't think I legally can mention anymore. Of sure, sure, sure. Uh, but it's pretty high level because typically you would see the kind of uh, the shiny uh, ribbon that you see that's weaved into like it's like a weave like this mm-hmm. if you see my hand I'm the, the, well, audience, the audience at home no I know I'm teaching the, the young guy here <laughs> B- boucle. The boucle exactly exactly I'm familiar but Buccal. this doesn't you know most most of the time cheap ones that you would see like at I don't know like Zara or something they'll just come right Zara. off like Zara like, but you like know what boucle a, is it's like the nubby like yeah yeah, yeah. 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 All right. your boy e, our boy EE e. 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 just did the sweatpants yeah okay. yeah those buccal sweats, dude. Yeah, did you but, develop- but they didn't have the bust down. They weren't no. they weren't the Swarovski joints. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> did you develop this fabric with yeah, yeah, this in was- tandem with the that yeah, yeah, they made it for me. Yeah, yeah, they Fire. made it for me. Yeah. Couple yeah. questions here. What's like the retail damage? Like, if I want to buy those trousers in stores, what is that going to run me? Is going to be expensive. I should have brought like PR or something. I have no idea. Like a line sheet. Person. Yeah. You do I don't a know. Of the line I sheet would before say us. y'all hire. <laughs> <laughs> I can make a hell of a deck. <laughs> Google Slides. Chuck is on one. Seven. Today. Yo, chill, bro. I'm having fun. <laughs> Six, seven landed. Here. Okay. And the cut is a. Is it like a bag year cut? Yeah, I wanted it to feel more like if you would have taken this fabric and made it too trim, I think. It, right, right. It, I had to like. It'd be um, too like rock and roll. You're, you'd be yeah, on your Amiri yeah. shit. That shit's like, going to make uh, my dog yeah. <laughs> Eddie Slamane. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck <laughs> Eddie Slamane. <laughs> Are these shits going to make my dog sparkle? Fuck Eddie Slamane. You're what? <laughs> Are these shits going to make my dog sparkle? Yeah. That's my question. Uh, the ladies might see it that way. Woo. I should hope so. <laughs> disco balls in your pants, yeah. dog. Uh, all right, Saturday Angelo, night. moving Dog on. Fever. You gotta. Yeah. You what's the sweat? What's the deal with the sweatshirt? The full rag, uh, sleeve, very nice. It's a a sample uh, that was didn't didn't like make it. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Too basic. Uh, not I wanted it down it, enough. Yeah, the fit was not correct. Oh shit! So yeah, are you the fit model for four S? Uh, I am for the pants this last season. I'm going to be for everything next season because oh, it's the best way to kind of get the exact right, fit right, right. I want. Uh, otherwise, like I think, I don't know. It's like I I had a really challenging time doing it with all the various kind of fucking skinny ass clothes hanger <laughs> yeah. twink boys. Yeah, no, the you hot know, it's, models, the river it's, twinks. Oh, so so I'll give. This is the story I have. So. Just uh, one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just one. This is the only story I had. We'll end the podcast after this. Yeah. I had um I was like, oh man, I was running out the house because it was cold and just running around doing errands. And I was like, oh man, they they, they might want to get a shot of me or something. Let me put on a decent jacket. And oh, you went back. And no, 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 oh. right before I left. Okay. And then I pulled out uh the black snow beach they did, uh the Ralph oh, Snow yeah, Beach. Yeah. The re-release. And it was like down at the bottom of the thing. And so it was all like crushed up, and I was like, oh shit. Ah, fuck, I don't want to iron. Can you curse on this? No, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, fuck, no. Nope. no. Please, please keep it. This is a Christian podcast. And <laughs> only if you work for the Wall Street Journal can you not curse yeah. on this. <laughs> I don't, I don't story. iron so much. And then my, oh, I, I don't, I got, I want to know why that story exists. But anyway, um, I wanted, I wanted to iron it really quick. And I do iron, but I haven't ironed in a long time. And <laughs> I don't see it. It's like riding a bike, dude. And I just put it on and I, and I, me left the mark. Oh, and I was damn. like, oh shit, I ruined it. Yeah. Fuck. So, was it, was the jacket like coated? Well, it's like no, nylon, it's just, right? It's, it's like, yeah, it's just like nylon. Maybe it's Did you, did you have the iron on too hot? Is that what it was? I wasn't thinking and just rushing because I wanted to make sure. the train. I live in Long Island. Right. And then it's just like, then I would have to have waited an so hour. So was your 
uh, snow beach jacket ruined because yes, yes, you're yes. trying to come impress the boys. So that's our well, fault. Well, I just felt bad us? because I didn't make any effort, really. What? I was just what? sort of Are like... Are you fucking kidding I, me? <laughs> you're fucking... You got a big. Every jaw is massive. Uh, you got fucking you got Thank disco you. balls on your balls. Yes. <laughs> so what's the what's the T under the sweatshirt? Are you going nips uh, on nips on fleece? <laughs> I don't remember. It's I think it's like a Target brand. Oh shit. Yeah. I you buy a lot of stuff at Target? <laughs> uh yeah, sometimes. Like clothes though. He's a dad. Uh when we split up, because my wife can go through like every single aisle in Target. Sure. And that's sure. like that's not fun right. for me. <laughs> right. So I wander off and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm I'm a real I can't ever find pack of so- of Uniqlo socks. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, I just buy random T-shirts just to see if I like it because I haven't found another one that I like in a long time. I used to get all the workaday T-shirts. Right, right, right. And those are my go to go uh, my go to T-shirts. But, um, you know, yeah, I'm not there. So anymore. You're just you're chasing that workaday yeah. cut. Yeah. In yeah, Target. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> in Uniqlo. No, anywhere, in anywhere, yeah. anywhere, to be honest with you. But uh, an yeah. equal opportunity T-shirt cop. What's the one? What's the one perfect John that haunts you? Is it the perfect T-shirt? Yeah. Ah, good question. What do you constantly? What's your white yeah. whale? What keeps you up at night? <laughs> what's, my, uh, what's my white whale? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe T. No, no, because I have a good T-shirt now in my collection from Target. Oh this no, is, no, this is the collection. beauty of having your own line is you can create that. Yeah. Perfect John yeah, yeah, for yeah. yourself and others. Yeah, 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 totally. And that's called um, practice. Oh, side note with the snow beach. Ralph is king. Ralph is sure. king. Ralph is king. I always repeat that because he is. I when I when I threw on the jacket when I noticed the burn mark, uh, <laughs> the Velcro, the hard part, mm-hmm. was on the wrong side. What? Really? And it like scra- scraped my face, <laughs> just my beard. Bro. And that's what made me notice the burn mark. <laughs> And I was just like, shit like that yeah, pisses dude. me off when it's just like the wrong side. Toss it in the fucking bin, dude. Yeah. This just John is haunted. Burn it. This, burn a cursed, it. this is a cursed garment. Yeah, yeah. it is actually. So you actually, it? actually, I bought that. I didn't even try it on. I just bought it because a friend Sight hooked me unseen? up. A friend hooked me up because it was one of those things Damn, that sold out cop? in two wow. seconds. Shit. Yeah. And yeah, um, I like the the, the it fit was horrible. Oh really? The fit was horrible. I actually <laughs> gave it. It was like it looked like a tent. It was like yeah. huge. Wait, was it the poncho version? No, no, no. Because no. The, 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 no, they did. Then, they did a poncho because yeah, no, then, then it would be like it was almost a poncho. It was almost a poncho. Jesus. And I tried Ralph, to. I gave it to. Game up, I gave it to my brother, and he was like, "No, thanks." <laughs> oh shit! I gave the sock it, snob. And yeah. I, I exactly. I gave it to my mother. I was like, "Mom, you could be walking around at the supermarket, and people are going to be like, what the hell is going on?' You know." And then she's like, no, nah, I don't like putting stuff over my head. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like a blanket general rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why we don't wear cans because we don't want to mess yeah, up yeah, our yeah, hair. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, I get it. I actually empathize with your mom. Yeah. You must have a good head of hair. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never thought about that. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I had a reason for that. <laughs> so you put Anyway, this, I don't know. Put, is this how you segue into the outerwear? Yeah, so let's talk about what you oh. replaced the snow beach uh, with. Because this shit is fucking gas. You think so? Strong I like jacket. it a lot. Um, it's just a, a vintage Carhartt that I got in Japan a while ago. That was uh, came pre like bleached. Yeah, out. yeah, it came all bleached out and stuff like that. And after the fact, I was told that it was like um, a Kanye thing. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. You do chores in that bad boy? No, it's uh, <laughs> I she do, just I bleached do. her. She just bleached her asshole. <laughs> oh yeah. What's the line? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleached yeah. my T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, you got yeah, exactly. What? Well, yeah, that was a while ago, wasn't it? I just fucked this model. I was, yeah. Kanye I was, <laughs> I was, Kanye I was, was hitting it raw in that car heart, dude. I was in LA and I was with like, uh, I guess my Italian team. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Oh, bad, yeah. Mama me. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> and, and the, this Kanye song comes on and I started laughing <laughs> and, uh, uh, I don't I shouldn't even say her name, but this girl was like, woman, why are you laughing? And I said, and I told her the line and I can't, the line I'm going to paraphrase. I don't remember exactly, but it's like uh, too many, Urkel's on your team. That's why you're Winslow. Winslow. Yeah, yeah. And so I told her and she's like. That's from My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Potentially gorgeous, I think, maybe. Is is that it is. power or power? I think that checks out. Yes. Yeah, wow, did you just Google that in your head? No. That was amazing. You look like head. it. I think Google I saw it. Called, called I saw the wheels thinking. turning. I, I saw it. That was yeah. amazing. I love yeah. that. No, Chuck no. thinking? Oh, no. <laughs> do you get to, oh, no. to explain Family Matters to her? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So Which, by the way. No, no, no. So she laughed. No, no. She laughed. And then after she laughed, I said, do you get it? <laughs> and then she's like, and then um, I don't remember how the conversation went, but she was really upset because we were at Animal. Do you know Animal yeah, in LA? Very, meat, very meaty place. She no she was there. very well. Ac- actually, oh, she's shit. looking at the menu, and then she's like, uh, you know, it's like pig ears and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. the waiter comes, and she's like, "Do you have any normal meat?" 
<laughs> and then he's like, yeah, this is all normal meat. She's like, no, 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 I'm sorry. The outside of the animal. Yeah, right. And, she, and then he's like, the ears are on the outside of the animal. <laughs> yeah, she, she fucking so she, perjured herself. She's coming herself. off of that. So she was really traumatized. And this guy's and like, then can I, you explain what animals are or the anatomy yeah. of an animal? <laughs> exactly, exactly. But then I explained it to her. Then I had to Google Urkel. And sure, she was like, right, and sure. oh. And that's, no, he's a yeah. recognizable, like, yeah. globally. Can right? I do that? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. It was a spinoff of the Die Hard movie. Is that a fact? I told him that story. Is That's that really so funny. Yes. I know he was a cop. Yeah, in Die he Hard. was the yeah. cop in Die yeah. Hard. I actually Carl. said that, and they all looked at me like I was an asshole. Oh, his name is the same too. Yeah, Agent. yeah, because it's a fucking spin. Or Officer Winslow. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. So uh, then, learn right, something so, new every day. Oh yeah, so uh, we got the jacket. What about the beanie? This is a friend uh, of mine from Japan. That it's like if he was to price it out, it would have been like a three thousand dollar beanie. It's right. like what? It's like ton, yeah, it's like tons of cashmere. Jeez. And it was just a gift. Is it a, is it I a love it more beanie? so. I love it more so because it looks like I'm homeless. Sure. Yeah. But is it a brand? No, that you no. It's say or you just made it. No, you just made it. Because those Japanese, they're known to just you know golf and make shit. I yeah. believe it's called noodling. Yeah. <laughs> what about the hardware? Yeah, you all got the, so all much. All, you got, all right, let's start. Uh, let's start with the the wristicle. Your your rolling. Well, it's a uh, it's an Air King, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a uh, vintage. Yeah, and then it's a uh, Navajo that I got a while on a on a, ba a bangle. Did you Bangle. cop that in the Southwest? Because we were talking about uh, I, Chuck's homeland of Arizona. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got in New Mexico. I don't want to say the city, though, because, you know, I don't want people to know. Where do you want to blow up the spot? Santa Fe. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. No. But no. <laughs> I don't buy shit Mexico. in Santa Fe, but it's in the state of New Mexico. But anyway, it's I'll tell you after after the Off pod. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the best place to get the stuff. Uh, tell us but when we're behind the paywall. Yeah. What, one more time? Tell okay. us when we're behind the paywall. Yeah, wait yeah, for yeah. the paywall we'll to be We'll let you know when, the, when we erect the yeah. paywall. What else? You, can, what else you have with uh, the opera? This is like, uh, uh, this is a bracelet, beads. a bracelet I just had made in uh, Paris. Actually, the oh, rubies. Nice. What do you mean you had made? Explain that. A friend of mine introduced me to this lady who sells these kind of like, I guess, gems and uh, uncut. Mm -hmm. Howie and cut and un and <laughs> Howie cut and uncut. Boy, Howie bling. <laughs> I've not seen it. So I, don't, I don't know the reference. I Howie feel left wee. out. But uh, uh, yeah, she. They just sell it like you know. They just have like a. I guess it's like wholesale. Sure. Got it. And the guy, my friend introduced me and I went nuts because she had all this Arizona turquoise uh, that whoa, she didn't yeah. know was Arizona turquoise. Really? How, how, did you, how did you know? I just know the color, you I guess. Tell. You bite it. <laughs> it's not chocolate. You just smell it. Smell a nug of turquoise. And so I grabbed, like I grabbed Dang. strands of the turquoise and the ruby and I told her, can you make bracelets for me? And she's like, yeah, come back tomorrow. And, and that's that. Bada bing, bada boom. Do my, do my eyes deceive me? Do you also have a little Kabbalah bracelet or is that part of? No, okay. it's like we, we, me, my wife, my, my immediate family always put red oh, for nice. luck. Kind oh, of hence the red Burks also that you're famously known to, to rock. <laughs> the red Baron of the red Burks. <laughs> those are, those are your lucky Burks, literally. Those are maybe my lucky Burks, maybe. Yeah. The lucky they, they make fun of me in Italy about it a lot. What about the rings too? Uh, this, these are just, my friend made this for me when I got married. Uh, she doesn't do jewelry anymore, though. And oh, that's this, a nice wedding band, dude. That's a flex. I that, like that. Yeah, she was. She's, she was. She had really nice stuff. She just stopped because she got married and had kids and was like, I Damn, don't you do hate this to anymore. fucking see it, man. I, I, if if I could choose my career, I would make jewelry. Really, a hundred percent. I thought you say be a house dad. <laughs> no, I would want to make. Why jewelry. haven't you? Are you making jewelry with 4S? Are you? Gonna I dabble? want to essentially. Yeah, yeah. I want to get to a place. You do that. If that's your dream. Touch wood. They make fun of me in Italy about that. <laughs> feet, no, I'll get, feet on wood. But touch wood. I want to make jewelry. I, 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 I want to get to it, but I mean, I got to do what I do. Uh, right, right, right. We should introduce you to our friend Luke from Summerhouse. He's a hot model who also makes jewelry. <laughs> His yeah. jewelry is so yeah. bad, dude. <laughs> really? Uh, it's like yeah. a reality TV show guy. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. What about he's this? A, he's a homeless hockey coach or let's, something. Let's talk about the uncut gem around your fucking neck. Uh, That's this a, is, uh, I really love this stone because it's uh, like Dominican turquoise. I, I okay. just kind of coined that. But basically... <laughs> Uh, it's the blue part is what's valuable. Sure. And when it's from, it's comes from the ocean. That's, I don't know what part of Dominican Republic it's from, but it's only one area. Side. Yeah. It's from the Atlantic ocean is what you're saying. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't, I don't know. And, and no, isn't it all Caribbean? Oh, shit. Yes. Maybe. And the Yerpel? And no, no, but no, no. The special thing about this is that, uh, Coral attaches itself to the stone, oh. and once that Cloud happens, chasing. they throw it away. They think it's like tarnished. Oh. Sure. And I like the ones that have the cor the coral. So when I find a big piece, when we're over there, I always buy it. You're just a carpet bagger in the in the, in the <laughs> dr. Dude, come through. You're like, oh yeah, let me take your garbage. Just well, actually, when we, when we yeah, when right? we went to the first time, me and my wife went to the market. The people we were with, uh, they were like, dude, you got to stop holding your hand. I'm like, why? <laughs> they were like, you're, they're gonna know you're not from here. Nobody holds their lady's <laughs> hand out here. Damn. I was like. 
Because we were like in like affection. the real fellas. We yeah, were in the real, real part. Yeah. I know. It was nuts. <laughs> and I totally saw it though afterwards. I was like, yeah. You're Have you ever right. been to India? No, but I would love uh, to. You hold hands with your homies there. It's actually very nice. <laughs> I love Man, that. that sounds great. Start, can we start doing that? Yeah. Let's bring you that to the States, you dude. Should, you Seriously. Should. Yeah. Look it up. We're already going to get coronavirus anyway. Might as well fucking enjoy the boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck it. Chuck has soft hands. Um, I, have, I have big old mitts. Yeah. I have, a, I have a, rebounding a, hands. A paw full of claws. I have NBA <laughs> lottery pick hands. Oh, <laughs> side note, if you ever see this chain, buy it. They don't make this anymore. This okay. is snake chain. Oh, it's snake really, chain. Because it, it's like, it's too snake. hard oh, to Oh, did you have, so you got the stone, you got the chain, and then you had them yeah. Voltrons. Yeah, yeah, totally. Nice. With the little, is that snake chain, the little ring, the little attachment piece? Yeah, I had that made too for the Damn. stone. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. It is really fucking nice. Custom Thank on your you. neck. One of Thank one. You. And then the la lastly, that bracelet on the other wrist. Uh, this is, on that. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, everyone thinks it's silver. I don't know why I even said that actually just now. It's platinum. <laughs> but it's gold. Uh, and it's from, um, which I would collab with. Shout out uh, anybody who could do that. Tiffany's. Oh, oh. shit. Who just bought them? Uh, LVMH. Yes. Damn. Rich get richer. Yeah. Because somebody should do something really good with them. I'm yeah. trying to think. They have. I'm in New they York. Really They're in New York. Yeah, they don't really collab. With no, people, they did. Right? They did. They but recently. Like, um, they did something. They did something with this guy that does women's. Okay, but I don't. I not don't men's even, though. No, 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 not men's. Damn. They're not also men's. collaborating every month when they hand and a, page, then, a rent check over to El Trumpito. Yeah, I know. <laughs> does Does he own that building? Yeah, I believe so. Oh yeah. shit, that sucks. Damn, collaborating with the enemy. You that really sucks. Yeah. Wow. No, but <laughs> side note to all of that, the lady who used to be the head designer, the first woman that ran the design team there used to be the woman who designed all the hardware for Chanel. Oh, shit. Like, Because, you know, Chanel, like with their all their jackets, every button changes. They don't repeat any buttons. Really? really? Yeah. Damn. They don't repeat the any Carl buttons. Carl Lagerfeld difference. Rest it's in insane. peace, you dead bitch. It's insane. And um, she did some good stuff. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It just maybe wasn't commercial enough. But she's now at... Louis Vuitton. Okay. If I had to guess, I would say that you probably love Chanel, right? Just like you love Chrome. It's that fucking handiwork, that craftsmanship. Yeah. That really yeah. The, fucking you know, it's just, boiling it's just for me, for me, it's just Louis a craft. Yeah. You know, it's just a craft. Sure. You know, it doesn't, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I just, you never, I, for me personally, I don't ever want to get in, in on anyone from like doing something that is cheap or like, sure. just like merch yeah. kind of thing. But um, I don't know. I still believe in craft. Did you read the article that said, uh, kind of asked, is Virgil the new Karl Lagerfeld? Yeah. I saw By Vanessa times. Friedman. Yeah. yeah. That I actually, ass bitch. I actually, I actually like, like some of her stuff. I haven't read a lot of it in a while. I, I read the, the paywall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I real. get it now. Yeah. 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 The, yeah it is the paywall. Um, no, no. Um, it was like he has his hands in so many yeah, facets yeah, of culture. Like he's a DJ. He's he does a collaborator. He he's works a so hard. He never stops working yeah. the way Carl, you know, did like fucking eighteen different lines every yeah. every year. Yeah, but I mean, is he? I don't know. I think it's also like it, it proves a really good point. I think the main point for me is that Carl Lagerfeld really set the blueprint that people are following now. Versus like, is Virgil actually? One but what did what did he level? really do? Who, Carl? Yeah, he, he started his own line. He did Fendi. He did But Chanel. his own line, what did it really do? And that was her point where it's like off-white, throw it in the fucking bin, just like <laughs> Carl Lagerfeld's <laughs> garbage, whereas like their work for other houses, in this case, Fendi and LV respectively, is like where the I mean, And I think he also are. like, he did some of the more modern day, like fashion, mainstream brand collaborations. Yeah. Yes, um, right. Like with Coke, right? Or Pepsi? Somebody, I don't no. know. Evian. No, yeah, I think you're one. right. No, yeah. No, you're Coke, Coke, yeah. Yeah, I think it was Coke. And then also he just, he, like Carl was like friends with all the cool kids. Yeah. Even as like a fucking 85 year old German dude. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, to <laughs> be honest, vodka. to be honest, like when you reach that level, you're so high up that you don't see what's on the ground. Right. And so Large. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's like, just like part of the marketing budget to like yeah. have seems someone. plugged into the streets though. I mean, at least that's the illusion that he probably wants you to. I don't know have. enough to be honest. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't. Have, you met, have, you, met, have you met Virgil? No, no. I've never he met him. He seems like a guy that would like love EG and like be a stand, but I guess not. Maybe. I feel like, like he definitely knows what he, it, Virgil absolutely knows what engineer garments is. He has. Correct. To. Maybe. I, I want to say that he has worn like the needle seven cut flannels maybe who, who hasn't yeah <laughs> right for real yeah. dog if, if you know you know, know. <laughs> that'd what? be embarrassing if you know you know, if you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. see Small here's the thing butterfly. angelo it's one shirt 
that is actually seven shirts. Yeah. So it's seven times. Don't tell me you like my shirt. A normal shirt. Tell me you like all seven of my shirts. <laughs> yeah. No, Pretty I just I just bitch. like talk five. Talk to me nice. Don't talk to me at all. The other two I don't like. The rare five. Yeah. Cut, <laughs> the rare five cut flannel. Yeah. You know I don't even think I have. No, I do have one. <laughs> of course, you just do. one. I just have one. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, like Lawrence just got his first one. No, I got to the boy. Wow, not, not just I've had it, but thank you. Well, <laughs> shout, shout out <laughs> Keith at Farfetch. Yeah, <laughs> Four um, you know, you know what, you know what, crazy next level. Um, what did you, John's? I have for needles. <laughs> Is he made? Uh, this is like wow. Oh, who's the guy? We were we were trying to figure Ken's, this out. Yeah, what's his name? Keizo. Keizo. Keizo Shimizu. Hell yeah. He goat. yeah, he really is. Shimizu um, sama. <laughs> he did um um like a, just like a Pendleton flat pocket shirt, but out of the silk that you only make that's on the what is it called of the kimono? The it's Obi? like the narrow yeah the sash. yeah just with the narrow sash. Obi. Yeah yeah because it's made on a particular loom that just. There's not that many left or whatever. So there's like a seam down the middle of the back because of, um, you know, you, it's so narrow, right, the it's goods. Only, it's only so wide. And they made a special one for, they made two of them actually for me. And yeah, uh, yeah so yeah. I think if it- One of two. You flip them? But yeah. I should, right? No, 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 I, I would, I would it's never. It's nuanced to flip. Was that like, no, was it yeah. a personal gift? Did you like commission it or, or was it just No, no, like it was, they, they had it in the line, but I think they couldn't make it in my size uh, apparently or something like that. So they had, I think they did one for me or something Damn, like that. Damn, made I to measure remember. straight from the God. Like when actually last year he gave me this like a uh, fan of this like rare made from this rare wood from Japan. That Good God, I know it's it, uh, this also guy's the best gift giver in the world. <laughs> yeah. No, no, he's, oh, he's yeah, he's like you. What trash gift did you give him? Like, yeah, what, fifty dollars. How do you receive fifty dollars iTunes gift like, yo, card? Here's some Chrome Hearts, dog. Here's a no, Chrome actually, here's I, some I, Dave and Buster's tokens. <laughs> Every time Shout I find like some weirdo jewelry Power thing, I, I give it to him. I gave okay. him this weird pin that had this like dangling pearl with an angel like Ooh. it was like some weird i don't i don't think he ever it's a two-way street you reciprocate the gift giving but i don't think he like you know would use it or whatever but he's, he's like, just like yeah, yeah thanks bro well yeah. we, we didn't uh going back to the jacket real quick we didn't mention the um, oh yeah the 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 shit you had on the the flare you had on the lapels the brooch the brooch i saw a yankees logo yeah i have i think i have a yankee pin yeah you're a huge yankees fan Yankee pin. Oh, this is um, this is like uh, this thing I found in. Damn, that uh, shit's a weapon. It is actually. It's a pin and it's coral gold. I found in Florence, like fire. Like, oh, hence there. the coral, right? Yeah, yeah, like go. twenty years ago or something like that. I can't Damn. remember. Shit, it's yeah. vintage, vintage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you it's, you love flair and accoutrement. Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> I should own that. You should work at TGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> you should get your nipples pierced. <laughs> Oof, no. <laughs> Do you have no, any, but, you have no piercings, no tattoos? No, no. Well, yeah, I have my wife's name on my arm, nice. but yeah, that's it. You still, I thought that was your IG username. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's a fire username. He has his, he has his handle fucking yeah. Unless we forget the panties. Oh, yeah, what, what are we rocking under these fucking uh, sparkly jaws? I probably have a... Working days? Anro. And, oh. You should, you should invest. They make, it's the, not they make cheap, the gummy bears. No, but it's, it's pretty amazing <laughs> stuff. And in the beginning... Is it Japanese? No, no, no. It's... Uh, Swiss? Okay. Expensive? Uh, yeah. yeah. I bought it. Of course it is. <laughs> no, but Swiss I- Swiss make watches, I chocolate, what's so good about panties. Like, their underwear, the way it just- You know, the wait, when I was, sack. I was like straight, I still use a lot of polo. Sure. Polo is, of is the best. What cut Ralph is king. Boxer brief. Thank you. Dude, and you're on the wrong side of history. history. No, the, he only wears boxers. Can you believe this? Like a fucking- When child. motherfuckers zig, I zag. I need the support. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I let the I let sorry, the thing sorry about your little ass nuts, James. <laughs> no, <let's laughs> you don't get you don't get your meat all hot and bothered You're when right. it gets all mop, wadded up. No, all right, maybe no. I run hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, no, no, no. They, that's uh, firm. If you, <laughs> my man's got a pig ear between the legs. <laughs> Ew. I run Pigtail. hot. And I do boxer briefs. If all you right. come from that school, you probably think Hanro's too soft and silky. Okay, but it actually is amazing. Right, you just got to get used to it. It's a little. It's not. I got it. What's the material? It's just cotton, but it's okay. like it's probably like mercerized, like, like super cotton. next right, 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 level right. Egyptian or something. Or right. I don't know to be honest, but they feel amazing. Man's got a bed sheet for his yeah. loins. Yeah, I mean you should. You only live once, and yeah, you, why why are you saving it for bed? Yeah, you got to spend money real, on real luxury. Uh, nah. What's the thing? The things that touch the ground. So good tires, good shoes, good underwear. Yeah, no, I mean honestly, it's when close. Your balls are dragging. Spoil your nuts, fellas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cashmere underwear? No, Ooh, that's too, too, hot. too hot. Oh my too god, three thousand dollar chonies. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, uh, fit check complete. Yeah, thanks, Angela. Angela, yeah. thank you for no proving you're not a cop. 
and walking through the big thick. <laughs> Massive Yo, fit. I want to ask you this. So, so, so one of the talking points that you always have on this pod run you've been going on is that your press junket, your you will. fit <laughs> kind of speaks to the world. It's the first way you communicate to the world, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. barking, which is like burp, something burp. we all agree with. Burp. What is your fit saying today? Mm. I'm uh, running late to another podcast. Uh, I'm wearing nah. sparkly, sparkly <laughs> pants. Yo, please no fake pander laughing. It's very obvious. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you know, to be honest, I, I was like, it's going to get warm very soon and I can't wear these pants anymore. Are they, it, is it a thick? No, they're wool. They're oh, wool. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. But I had uh, the bu- like really good bouquet. This is to you. Mm-hmm. Falls apart. It's super delicate. Because it's like, again, it's, it's like this, right? And so you really need to be skilled like other companies that I shouldn't mention anymore when it's mm. referring to that. Fuck you have them. to be really skilled to sew it. And I sewed, I had a shirt, an overshirt uh, made with the fabric and it fell apart. Like, Oh, really? Yeah. After the, how many wears? No, 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 no. The sew, they were, couldn't sew oh, it. Oh, they couldn't even make you it. Need the skill, you have to be skilled Jesus. to do it. So what I had to do was bond it and I bonded the back of it. You see? Got it. They're lined. Yeah. So they feel fine to me. Mm. I don't know. Well, they're fucking awesome. The production will have another lining, like sure. an acetate lining, half half lining, but um, it's bonded, so I don't mind. But they are warm. So, so, the, the, so the fit is saying yeah, to the world, it? "Hey, spring's around the corner." Yeah, <laughs> it was sixty degrees yesterday. Yeah, get get them wool pants today. worn before you yeah, can. Yeah. Get some, you know. put some mileage on your favorite wool johns before. Yeah. They get have that to go boot into clay bussing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know. I kind of buy stuff so that I can just not think right. just put it on like when i buy it I, I buy it because i really love it i don't know where are your johns kids where i don't know are your johns i'm just trying to think Do you about buy it. things that are like that you could easily and at least in your mind like mix and match yeah 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 like I, when i was when i was in paris like uh my wife was just uh, she wanted to get like um a scarf and so we went to hermes and oh my god you, you guys ever been to hermes on the weekend in paris, no, in paris. It it's insane yeah it's insane it's just like that it's like a warehouse price. sale oh shit really yeah yeah it's, it's like mayhem it's insane what are people going for just the burks and the i don't the even they're everywhere <laughs> the they're everywhere the burks first like the first that? time i went to hermes yeah, they are listen to this don't you have to pre order you have to special order them you have to make an appointment just to just to see them just as oh just to you don't even game. know yeah you don't even know what's going to be available oh. just to have the privilege so you just show up with like 50 g's being like all right let's just see the spread and i'll yeah. make it work yeah exactly damn yeah. charge and, to the game yeah exactly yes but um anyway the i don't know hermes is another one that they're king 100 percent. sure but their men's could be better i don't know if, if, they, the, if, if, they, the if they're if they're if they're if they're if they need an application I'm here. Right, right. <laughs> who, who is the designer slash creative director for men's? It's a woman. I can't remember her name, but I'm sure, you know, I'm sure it's not easy. I'm sure it's like, you know, because like they have a shoe designer. She's, she's outside help. She's not part of the family, right? Outside I don't help. think, I don't think well, any. still family owned. I think, yeah, yeah. It's half family owned. Half family owned. I think none of the family Lawrence designs. Lawrence to yell at the help. That's why he's asking. Because I know <laughs> <laughs> Pierre Hardy does the shoes and the girl who used to do the row does the women's and... I, I can't remember her name, but she's been there a long time. Okay. A long, long, well, long time. Well, we have Chef, or sorry, we have Chuck on the stick, so he's going to edit it in as if uh, you do know yeah. what, what the name no, no, is. No. Pierre Hardy, any relation to Ed? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. That would be amazing. <laughs> I don't know. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. Well, Angelo, is it, is you're it one it of Pierre the best. Hardy? I don't hmm? remember now. Maybe it's not Pierre Hardy. Don't quote me. Well, Pierre know. Hardy is like shoes, so you said it. Like, I it think seems it's like it him. Sense. It sounds about right. So I don't trust. Know. I didn't the know people if listening Pierre are not. Hardy was still alive, or if that's. Like I'm a, like a glass of water, and then if you pour more water, other bits water, of water yeah, comes sure. out. So I, yo, again, charge it. To don't fact game. check me. Not at <laughs> all. Just like a fucking lady in Hermes. Not facts. Um, Angelo, you are one of the best dressed men in New York. <laughs> facts. <laughs> You've been called your favorite designer's favorite designer. Facts. You're an arbiter of taste. Clearly, everything you put thought into everything you fucking wear and everything you do and everything you consume. So, we want to ask you in a segment we call "Fuck with Not Fuck With." It's a working title. Still working on the title. Uh, you know, maybe you can help us with that. Uh, we want to throw some categories at you, and you tell us what in those categories you're fucking with, and what you're not fucking with. You're gonna drag some motherfuckers. I know yeah. you don't want to, but you're gonna have to put them on blast. First up, brands. What brands are you fucking with? Okay. You mentioned Chanel, Hermes, Ralph. Yeah. Though you had a little bit of smoke for Ralph. Do you want to repeat that point where you're saying that you feel like they've gotten a little complacent? In years? <laughs> I think you no, no, that I, for him. I think I think they're getting better. I just feel Whoopsie. like <laughs> I just feel like, you know, it could if they just put just like like 10% more effort it'd be 
Hey, they John hit a Farage, if you're listening, shape up or <laughs> ship out, bitch. <laughs> but, it, you know, again, it's like, I don't know if it's just like, I, I grew up with do, it. Do you think it's your taste maybe changing? Yeah, no, no, because I still <laughs> I still sure. like all the same it's Ralph. It is pretty exquisite like, yeah, to I, some I, degree, even yeah. if they are getting lazy. <laughs> but you said that you saw it on IG and you're thinking that it's back. Oh. Yeah, I saw. Oh, I saw. I'm thinking it, uh, it's back. I, think, I, thought, I thought it looked good. I thought it looked really good. I was like, I want to check it out. It was but, a presentation, but I'm broke. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I really, I thought man. it looked good. I thought it looked good. Uh, Prada before Raf does whatever he's gonna do with it. Let's I love Prada. Ruin it before Raf ruins it. Like I don't know. I don't know. He could do. I mean, listen. Adidas, I I like Calvin. I like. Chill. I liked a lot of the Calvin stuff. Right. Really. Yeah, I liked a because lot because it was like. Maybe like a block over from the Penthes? No, no, not entirely. But, you know, they did like in the beginning, I, I stopped following it at some point, but in the beginning, they would actually use real NYPD uh, buttons. For, oh, nice. On their Folk like 12. on motorcycle and stuff. <laughs> no, no, they, they really did their homework. How do they get that shit? Do they steal it from the cops? By killing if, cops. If that's the case, that's Paying cool. an expensive license. Oh, shit. That's oh. probably what messed up Calvin. You know, they probably paid too many. Right, right. Reference. And ain't nobody buying that shit. So. <laughs> You know 90% fuck? off. <laughs> Y'all want some... You, you know the fucking vibes. Aww. Y'all want some cowboy pants? <laughs> you want a Roadrunner sweater? You want a blanket? <laughs> what do you need? Those Fireman's jacket? Those boots with the metal things on the tip were not 90% off, I'm pretty sure. 90? Some shit like that. Cop Something up. crazy. Wow. Give them shits away. <laughs> wow. Yeehaw, bitch. What other, what other brands are you fucking with yeah. at the moment? Besides 4S Designs. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so pre-Rav Prada. Um, I, yeah, Prada for sure. I love Prada. I re, Prada actually is... Do you own Amazing. a lot of Prada? I, yeah, actually, I do. Are we I, talking about the contemporary shit? I remember the Lina first. Rosa? I, 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 yeah, America's Cup. I was nice. there. But you, you know, you they love used, the red. You love the red. I yeah. do. I do. I do. But they Good used luck, to baby. do. Um, I can't remember. Like I was still in high school in the ninety seven. She did a collection that they did these like orthopedic Scooby Doo shoes <laughs> that I bought like four pairs because it had Velcro and everything. They were right, amazing. Right. They, sh- they, you should redo Scooby that. Snack. Uh, you se- redo- Senora Prada before <laughs> yes. you. Yeah, she's listening. retro those shit. Yeah. Please retro Re-release. retro. <laughs> yeah. They were really good, but retro the Scooby Doo orthopedic <laughs> sneakers. That'd be fire. Yeah. They yeah. Sound, no, they sound real. They good. Sound good. Do you no, still, no, they're really good. Them? They sound. Scooby. I wish. What's I don't the know. oldest? What's the old? Because you strike me as like somebody that keeps shit for sentimental value for a hoarder as just being a hoarder. <laughs> What's the oldest John you own that isn't like you purchase vintage? Um, I mean, I I Asian have zero of your, of your John's I have a, I have Ralph Native American like Indian head stuff. Yeah, I don't know how, what year did that come out? When did you cop? When 90. Polo Country was in the third floor Ooh. or the the top Ooh. floor of the mansion. Love me some Polo Country. Great denims. I don't even remember. I used to. I Who's used president? To, I don't. Were you, were you boosting that shit, or you were like paying for it? Uh, to be honest, I had lots of friends that boosted. Sure. Statute of limitations. Uh, yeah, you're you can, good. Yeah, you're, and, you're, you're, you're uh, the no, 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 you know. But I never. I, 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 I yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Okay, <laughs> nice. Badass. A little bit of this. Badass. Bad ass. I don't remember. But, badass. Truck. But, yeah. but I, you I, hit I, it in your beard. Yeah. As a twelve year old. I don't think I could ever get a, a job at Ralph now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, they probably want the fucking cool guy street cred. Oh, this guy uh, used to steal from us. That's cool. Any other brands off top? <sighs> and also to not think. just fashion brands. It could be like brands that Laura Piana. Your life. Oh, hell yeah. But I can't afford any of it. <laughs> if they need uh, an application from me as well. You're just out here hunting for a job. Yeah. Who do you think listens to this podcast? Monster.com for the fucking John's game, dog? Uh, no, I'm trying to... Th- uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I like... I, you know, listen, we were... I was in Korea in December and... You we love the in, MLB licensing. Oh my there. god, the MLB oh, you Korea. Love, like, the Gucci, the Gucci Nike cl- or um, <laughs> No, cl- well, like 90% of it is garbage. Sure. But the 10% that's amazing really is hit. insane. It was like made for you. But insane. Then, insane. But then the insane. MLB you know they have they have my friend, my my friend in Korea, I I I went nuts when I saw the National Geographic license out oh, there. Oh yeah, yeah. And he wouldn't let me buy any because he was Enough. like, he's like, no, this is really bad here. This <laughs> is like your dad stuff. And I was like, I, and they didn't have my size. I was like a triple XL wow. in the National Geographic merch stuff. I saw some of that stuff. It's pretty good. I thought it's amazing. I put it on Twitter. No, no. But a lot of it is like Stone Island ripoff, which right. is also amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I bought some some oh, hats. Yeah. I bought some hats. But uh, yeah, weird licenses, I think, are fun. You know, you never know. It's like merch, right? Like kind of sure. like it's unique like, bootleg shit. It's like yeah. accidental yeah. merch. Yeah. Sure. You know? Um Do you do you are you a big uh, bootleg guy? I love bootleg. Yeah. I feel I feel hunting? like really what merch or like what 
people love right now what they call streetwear, which I don't think exists. You know, it's just a way to call clothing black. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Damn. it's basically Bars. bootleg. Yeah, it looks like bootleg, right? It's just like what was the last bootleg item that you copped? Do you hit like Canal Street and like browse? Because I know like Warwick no. guy front of the pod. That's his big fucking move. I haven't done that, and I've I don't think. I used to only go when like my, my aunts from California or or from out of town were here to buy stuff, but I have not gone in a million years. I'm trying to think of what bootleg stuff, the national geographic had. I don't know. What about, what about vintage? Are you a, are you a thrifter? I used to be, I used to be really heavy, uh, thrifter, but, um, I was very spoiled because in Japan, the Shout bigger, the biggest, the bigger sizes are cheaper in, sure. in Japan because they can't really sell. They're not it. fat there, yeah. exactly. Can't move units. So my plus size self move over there, absolute units, can get really cheap stuff. You know, really good stuff at a really cheap price. So, so that uh, you are like the sumo guy. Exactly. <laughs> not saying you're sumo size. I'm saying that. No, no, no. By the way, the audience at home, Angelo is 400 pounds. Yeah. I like, I like to eat. I do like to eat. Um, some ramen before coming here. You said. I did. I did. Um. Yeah, I love vintage. I what, do. What about non-clothing brands? Like, yeah. Just, oh, you know what I have? That's a really great bootleg that uh, Daiki kind of made me buy. Yeah, <laughs> I think he kind of me kind of made me buy is an Eddie Bauer uh, bootleg of Willis and Geiger. And, and you say Eddie and, Bauer Ford Explorer? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It's it's a really great jacket, but Willis and Geiger is a great brand. Okay. Somebody should really do that. I do not want that application. Okay. Chuck, <laughs> Chuck, that's one Chuck, that you'll do pass it. On. Chuck, do it. You have thrown your name into a lot of rings tonight, so just want to. Yeah, be I'm going to pass on that. Yeah, what one. about non-clothing brands that touch your life, like brands that you're ride or die for, whatever they are? Uh, whew, I should have thought about this. Sorry, no, I like I like the Loewe leather goods. Oh, nice. Loewe leather goods are really good. Are you a JW Anderson guy? You you into it? Or? It's not for me. Okay, I think it's the best way to say it. It's is not it for me. A little too out there. It's just not for me. I yeah. prefer the the Loewe stuff myself. Fisherman I jeans, don't know the, the loafers we were talking about with Gallagher. All yeah. is nice. Yeah, no, the I think I don't know if he does the accessories, but his accessories are really good. Sure. His women's is amazing. Right, his right. women's is amazing. It's like ideas from like space. <laughs> do, you, do you pay attention to a lot of women's wear? I know your wife is pretty stylish based on what I've seen. On uh, I actually, I actually am more so now. I feel like I just came from uh, Milano Unica, the fabric show. And one of uh, the Italian team, I don't want to name them because they might get mad when they saw my selection of stuff. She's like, and she's, she's really funny. Cause she, she says, bro, <laughs> she's Sorry. like, bro, why don't you just start a women's brand? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, what bro. are you doing? I was the like, fuck, bro, <laughs> start it up, bro. And I was like, I am. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a women's brand for men. No, 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 no. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of like um, I, I added a lot of elements in my collection that um, I think work for men. So um, and I also with the fabrics that I'm gravitating towards, especially for spring, um, they are used mainly in women's. Uh, but I feel like it's kind of a newer, fresher way to do like interesting kind of uh i think like i think i think menswear is kind of neutered right now there's Some like degree. there's yeah. like Cucked. no no yeah. there's like no sexiness i oh, guess to bring it bring back the sexiness all i'm going to say is double knee satin work pants <laughs> Silky smooth, dude. That's all I'm gonna fucking double say. Double knee bathrobe. Some double knee boucles. <laughs> Those were a big, a big standout in the look in the Luke book. Uh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, they were, they were kind of like, I don't know what they thought of me when I was like, can you get me some Duchess silk? Mm -hmm. And they were like, what? Is that something that's kind of like a, a a thread? No pun intended. <laughs> through like the collection, which is like, yeah, materials that you wouldn't expect making garments that again wouldn't necessarily like match up with yeah. that material or with that fabric like it's a balancing act like, a little bit where it's like if it's a, a very kind of uh feminine fabric i i'm gonna make a double knee work pant maybe you know? some yeah a lace chore coat to kind of like balance <laughs> out you're trying yeah. to like find the balance yeah, is that yeah. something that you've always thought about or is that like an Apenthes kind of influence because i feel like that's both both like you arts know? and education does that right like with yeah. like they're doing like crazy fabrics but in workwear staples to some exactly degree. exactly the needle thing i don't know but it's a pedigree, man. Let the pedigree speak. <laughs> I mean, I, I just like I was going to say speak. I was going to say with with Hermes, I was going to say to you guys, uh, the the men's is not very good. It's some of it is OK, but it's not very good. But the women's uh, is very good. Right. But yes. they make hats that in that are made only. Well, they're in the women's section for some reason. But when I was in Paris, I bought this like crazy denim Hermes cap. 
that was in the women's department. Sure. I was just like, what? Like, <laughs> like and a then baseball it, cap? Yeah, like a baseball cap. Nice. And it, they had other fabrics that were amazing. I actually have like a couple of Hermes women's berets. Mm. And, You're uh, a big beret guy. I love berets, beret yeah. Guy. I love berets. A lot of big beret talk in the podcast recently. Yeah. Nice. Really? Yeah, Jacob yeah. Gallagher was on. Well, I guess this will come out quite a he bit. He was on a that, few but, weeks ago. Yeah. And his article on berets just came out today. Yeah. Oh, was he's, trying, he's trying to become a beret guy. He's trying to get into it. That his was the fiance whole is hugging, not in, not push a fan. And pull. I have a really good one for spring. Oh, yeah? Stay tuned. Ooh. <laughs> oh, in your collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I have a really What good are some one. brands you're not fucking yeah, with? Yeah, anyone you want to call out specifically while you who have the time? Who sucks? Yeah. Who's not doing it for you? Good who's, question. Who's I not tickling know. your pickle? I would phone say it's mine. I'm sorry. Not nah, Florence's. Florence sorry. No worries. Um, I don't think I have necessarily. I, I don't know. I don't have anyone that I wouldn't mess with. Like, I think Versace. I used to love Versace when I was a kid. And in the nineties when it was like, yeah, yeah. Even popping even, off. Yeah, exactly. But now Gianni, kinda, Gianni was at the helm. Exactly. But it got, it, it had its moments in the middle, but it, recently it's been like weird. Sure. And when I was in Korea, they had these like over shirts with these like big dookie Medusa head stamps <laughs> on it. And I was like, Oh my God, I want that. Right. Right. And the people I was with was like, no, we can't let you do that. Really? We but I was like, this him. is amazing. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? Like, so I think. Well, it was, might mean something different to you in terms of nostalgia than like the people you're perhaps, with, right? I yeah. mean, seemingly. Perhaps, perhaps. That's, that's how it works, Lawrence. People have different perspectives and experiences. Yeah, that's But um, <laughs> I thought I put it on airplane mode. I'm sorry. Um, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that I wouldn't necessarily what about, uh, mess with. What about Balenciaga? I don't mind it. Really? I don't mind it, to be honest with you. It's not my thing. It's not for me, but I think he kind of works in the same realm that I do. Like, I do weird cuts that are Gigantic really... sneakers? No, 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 no. It's just, he has a really good Ripping way... off Bernard Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> Our king? Our comrade? You know, lift, hold your head, king. I, I <laughs> got he, this. I think he has a good way to, like, like, make a gesture... And I think it just gets exaggerated because it's such a luxury brand sure. in, in, in the real world. Um, but I think he does things that have a gesture that I think is very, it's very interesting because who cares? <laughs> and, and It's just clothes, bro. Yeah. I know. In this day and yeah, age. Bro. Who, like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What about Supreme? You fuck with Supreme? Stussy, uh, Palace, just the general crop of streetwear. When it comes my way, somebody said something to me just today. What was it? When it's when it's free, it's me. <laughs> wow. Episode title. That's the new motto. That's of the a podcast. podcast. I, Bars. That yeah. wasn't me. I can't. It wasn't my quote. No, but we're just fucking take it. <laughs> Cookies. It's ours now. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, no. If it's if it's a friend that like. Do you have homies that work at those streetwear brands? Yeah. Yeah, so they'll give me stuff and I'll be like, cool, you know, whatever. I but you <laughs> wouldn't like buy it. I mean, sometimes when I'm walking down there and <laughs> I know some people that work in there, I, I'll go in and say hello. I feel like I have to buy something. Okay. I can't go in a store. As and, a gesture? Really? And, yeah, it's just. Maybe I that's why you're so broke, dog. It's terrible. <laughs> and you have I don't, to buy something. No, no, no. I don't go into stores, though. I hardly ever go into Because you're so afraid of, of having to buy no, something. No, I mean, I only go into a store if I'm really going to try to buy something. Otherwise, okay. it's just like. You're taking up space. Were you yeah. buying. You're not a browser. Were you buying Supreme no. back in like 94? No, 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 no. What was it? Just like not on your radar? Uh, no, it was. It was. Uh, but oh. it just, I don't know. I was, I guess I was fancier then. Huh. I was a little Oh, fancy. you were like, I'm, a, I'm above this streetwear bullshit. No. I don't cop below 14th Street. No, no, no. <laughs> I used to be in that neighborhood all the time. It was just that. Uh, it was like shittier than Ralph in your mind. It was like not as. No, elevated. no, no, no. It was good. It was good. I, I, I didn't think it was bad. It was just that at that point, I was like. Like Not a really heavy skater. into Paragon, mm. like 18th and Broadway. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, um, really just into trying to outflex <laughs> other people, okay. you know, because it was like at the tail end of my, my, my schooling, <laughs> I went to Brentwood in Long Island. Sure. You know, cause it's safer out there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Which what about, what about but Brentwood, Brentwood is was a tough town. There was no Salvadorians when I went to school there. It was mm. like I was. So like, you were like overcompensating, like a little bit. You know, it was just sort of like you know, honestly, like the guy that was trying to court my my now wife was like oh, the damn. the town drug dealer. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck him up. No, no, no. But you know, it was just sort of like <laughs> damn, dangerous liaisons. But uh, no, no. Well, they never, they never. Right. He, he was just you know trying to get with her. But no, no. It was just something. It was just competitive. Sure. It was just super competitive. So what were people? What were people competing with? So like, what, Paragon, what was he what, wearing? How what was, was his kush? Yeah. <laughs> um, <Ashy>. Ralph, <laughs> Ralph, Tommy, right. and I think at that point it started Nautica? going into Versace. Ellie, Ellie Hansen. 
Uh, was this like the outdoorsy New York shit? Like I North started Face. getting into that heavy. I got in. I got and into Paragon. that heavy. And yeah. yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, no, I just I was really into Versace. <laughs> <laughs> and damn. I kind of like am embarrassed about that, but you wanted to look I had, like a drug dealer. I want, yeah, maybe, maybe. There, I mean, honestly, when I first started going to Brentwood, uh, everyone thought I was a drug dealer. Mm. Everyone was like, "Because you were brown." Yeah, was it they were profiling? No, you? there was a lot of Dominicans there. Okay. <laughs> Because you had this big old beard, but and I I did have a little bit of a beard. Are there the any, uncut gems? Are there any throwback? <laughs> the beard is the uncut gem. Yeah, exactly. Are there any uh, old pics <laughs> of you on the floating around the internet yeah. or on the IG of you just in full Versace? <sighs> I never liked having my picture taken. Weirdly enough, and I never did even afterwards. So I don't think so. Damn. What is it with John's but, enthusiasts and 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 is it a is it like um do you have like image issues? We don't need to get too deep in it, or is it just like. You don't want people. It's not for anybody. Reason? It's for me. So yeah. I don't. I don't Ooh, need to. That's damn. fire. I don't need to like, like dress games. for yourself. Yeah. I just honestly. We mean we love dressing for the boys though. Yeah. As much as I don't think boys, anybody so. would recognize what I'm wearing. You know. I really. Think a, a lot of times, yeah. Like I, I prefer to have something like that. Huh. If you know, you know, type B. Yeah. I mean, a lot of Hell people. Yeah. I've been, I've been wearing Chrome Hearts for a long time, and like now it's like a thing. Does it bother you when a thing that like because you're obviously a man of exquisite taste and you have a wide breadth of knowledge <laughs> when when you see the more mainstream like co opt the stuff that you've loved since like Jump? Does that bother you? Are you um, happy about that? It, it it's a give it's a it? give and take sure. I guess sometimes depending on w- what it's with I'm kind of like ah, I wish it was someone else yeah but ultimately because like Chrome it, you could argue is being like ruined by cornballs who are no missing the I mean there's the craftsmanship there's things like, like wearing a t-shirt like I remember some, that says fuck on it yeah I remember <laughs> some people were saying like oh I can't wear my track pants my needles track pants All anymore right. right and I was like no fuck them yeah. you know f- wear them I'm, more I still wear mine mine fucking rock wear dude. them wear them some more you know what yeah. I mean take them back take the power back yeah, yeah. no totally so for me it's like all this if I love it I love it right and that's uh, just the end of the story yeah I don't right. care that's good advice for kids at home who are worried about like you know, oh, this other person is wearing it. It makes me feel less. Do you have a stupid? Do you have a individual who, when you see them wearing something, they ruin a John for you, <gasps> aka your John's ruiner? The John ruiner. <laughs> TM. Yeah. Um, no. And what's their name? Yeah. No, no, no. I don't think I do. And what's their address? <laughs> I don't think I. I'm trying to think. No. And can we kill them? <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I don't think I do. I don't. I don't care Smite enough them for you. I don't care enough. I think like in. You don't give a fuck. Uh, if I'm like, if we're like talking shit with friends and shit like that, I don't know. Well, you're liable to say you can say anything. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that king. But no, 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 no. We 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 kind of like we make fun of other friends that like are trying to uh, what's, roasting. Yeah, yeah, ribbing. Yeah, but it's true, but not it's true. Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because it's true. I'm sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. So that kind of like banter, you know, kind of thing. Banter. You know? Ah, with the banter boys. with the boys. We're familiar. It's yeah. Sam from Nerds from Israel. We're quite yeah. familiar. <laughs> You've mentioned a lot of like big iconic brands, Ralph, Prada, Versace. If you had to pick Versace, you, what? If what? That's how you're saying it now? Versace. Versace. <laughs> yeah. If you had to Boucle, Boucle. If you, <laughs> if you Boucle, had to Boucle. pick your Mount Rushmore, so four brands unranked that in your mind are like the goats, what does that Mount Rushmore brands look like? For Ralph, you? Prada. Without hesitation. Without hesitation. Damn. Lord Piana. Ooh, Without hesitation. Damn, nice. Some hesitation. I'm trying to think of the four. Don't laugh. Well, I was actually just asked to do like another photo shoot for them. So I kind of still have my, my pinky in there a little sure, bit. Sure, sure, sure. Wait, <laughs> so wait, I don't they, see oh, it wait, as that. You're saying they got your application. I don't see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait exactly. till the invoice clears. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, I don't see Met it 30? like that yet. Who's number four. I don't see it like that. I'm trying to think. You know, like Prada, like. It, you could always find something at Prada, believe it or not. You could like, always find something at EG. Yeah, no, for sure. No, no, but I don't see it as that. So, I mean, if 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 I can't think, you don't of think before, it's earned that. When was EG founded? Um, ninety nine, ninety nine. I mean, that's they've been in the game, dude. I think they're worthy of that. I mean, that would be no, a, no, for sure. No, no, no. Claim, but maybe but I just spot. honestly, but it's just man, like still, it's still so close to me that I don't really see it. Like, sure, You're I too don't close. know. I get it. It's I don't know. All right, one more slot though. When you hear your family, it's family. <laughs> trying to think. Um, it's Hermes, not, it's not brand. Chanel? It's family. Uh, da, da, da. Chrome Hearts. <laughs> maybe, maybe Chrome. Yeah, I don't know. Damn. Fuck. Maybe Chrome. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Cartier. No. Ooh. Ooh. Cartier. Ooh. Cartier yeah. hasn't gotten love yet. You love Cartier. I love Cartier. You I really lot? do. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> how many, how many, 
How many pairs? Guardian. How many pairs? Fire. How many love bracelets? Uh, well, I have a, I have a, Kylie a, Jenner shit. I have a, a chronograph that was like their first one that, um, actually the woman, it's a woman, it's a woman, first of all, that heads their movement. Shout out women. I know for sure. And she, she was at Autumners, I think beforehand, but she, uh, they brought her in, I don't know how many years ago. And she was the one that headed up doing their own in-house movement because, you know, they would yeah. just buy their own movement from a uh, movement from other places. But she, they did this chronograph that a lot of people just slept on. I don't know why. I like it a lot. Are you a big watch guy? Kind of. Kind of. Do you have a collection? I kind of. Okay. How many are we talking? Yeah. I don't know. Really? Damn. I've never counted them. Damn. I don't know. Dozens? Like two hands worth of watches? One yeah. hand? Yeah. Okay. All right. More yeah. than more than more two. Th- no, I have like, I have like a Luminox here. Sure, and there, sure, sure. And I have Oof. Omega, like, like right. whatever. I don't have like, I have, I have swatches. Yeah. I have like an all red swatch. Oh, hmm. very lucky. Luck. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, you know, I haven't worn my JLC in a long time, but that one, my wife gave me that one. That was probably my favorite Reverso. Yeah. But, Classic. Yeah. Yeah. But. You have a Cartier tank? Yes. Damn. This guy's got <laughs> fucking everything. Yeah. No, no, no. Do you no, have a storage have, unit of John's? Yeah. What the fuck? Do I what? Uh, Do you have a storage unit? Or I guess I you're. I don't. I used to. You're in, you're in a house, right? I used to. Yeah, yeah. What's I used to. When I, when I <laughs> moved. <laughs> when I moved, though, I gave a lot of it away. Like sight unseen. What like, the just fuck? What, where, 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 where are we at, bro? And Come now, on, And dog. now I'm in the same boat. Like, I need to just get Yo, rid of stuff. Host us at the crib and let us fucking pilfer. I need to get rid of stuff. Pillage. Yeah. No, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah. Uh, no, I gotta get. I have too much stuff, bro. It's just too much. We're right Again, here. We're right here. Help us, help you. How many times you gotta beg? No, yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll take I, all those. Let me ask you this: hands, How many? Dog? How many pairs of sneakers do you have? Oh, t- <laughs> <laughs> we talking hundreds? Oh my god! Yeah, more. What sneakers I, are you fucking with currently? Yeah, what's what's the rotation? I bought a pair of. Uh, Hermes runners that they haven't made in a long time. Uh, last year, I, I was wearing them quite a bit, mm. and the the red Birkenstocks. Um, just you know, I specifically just, though sneakers specifically the sneakers, but uh, just probably just the Hermes ones. I'm trying to think. So when you when your sneaker collection, what is that like? Rare New Balances, Jordans, mm, like what is it? Yeah, I Japan guess so. Only's, Prada. Yeah, I still have some Prada sneakers. They used to make uh, their sneaker game was amazing. Yeah, in, in the agreed. late nineties, two thousands, they were. Honestly, yeah, the fucking bicycle, the, the cloud sneakers, busters, the cloud busters. No, <laughs> yeah, I forgot you called them that. The Soul yeah. Cycle joints. No, 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 no. I don't have the Soul Cycle. <laughs> the joints. Soul Cycle twos. Uh, I wear a lot of Vans, to be honest with you. I wear a lot of Vans. Do you, do you wear them to death? I do. My wife gets mad at me. She's like, really? They they smell like <laughs> death. Damn. You have. Yo, to I wish you could meet our producer, who's in Beantown. He loves to wear a fucking van into the ground. Yeah, yeah I, cooked. Burnt. I also Sauteed like there's a, point in, there's a point in time where I can't do socks anymore. Right. So, yeah, it just gets gross. Yeah. yeah. Nasty. Yeah. You gets, can't do socks? Yeah. I like can't. in the summer. I hate wearing socks. Oh. You got what sweaty you, feet? What about, the back, what about yeah. the back of your ankles, though? Does it hurt? Uh, do no. I have sensitive you skin? You build up a fucking Man, callus. callus. Yeah. It tears into my ankle. Yeah. Nice. I like Nothing that. good ever Sensitive. came easy. Chuck. I have to throw. I have it. to throw a band aid on before. No, I let, let them shits oh, bleed. A little boo boo. Let them shits bleed like <laughs> oh, a fucking vampire oh, weekend oh, cover. Chuck's got a boo boo. <laughs> Do you powder your feet? Chuck. No. <laughs> Do you powder your balls? This Chuck is a question balls. that we had no. to answer. No, you don't. Break news. I'm considering. Utia does not powder his balls. No. <laughs> no. I want Maybe the minty shit. Just come Tell them about the minty shit. What's the minty shit? <laughs> so if you mend all for your balls, yeah, it's a cool new ports for your. Uh, it's a cool for your quails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, oh no, my, so I, I don't like, think I would want that. Oh yeah. no! When you're when you're in when you're a media man like uh, Lawrence <laughs> and I were, you get like so much free shit sent to you and a lot of like men's grooming shit. And so my bathroom is currently still like an embarrassment of fucking product of riches. And one of the and like wow. every every so often I'll like un you know I'll uh, try something or debut yeah. something or whatever. And one of the things that I tried out that I had no expectations for, but fucking love now is this very like menthol minty powder that you just slap on your nuts yeah. in the summer. So we go to you, you give us some Johns and you could go to James and you get some, you know, Oh my God, some nut, nuts, some nut yeah. talc. Side note, if anybody wants to make a beard oil with me or Ooh, perfume, yeah. CBD hit me oil. Up. Yeah. What, oh. What's your fragrance of choice? Do you have a signature scent? Uh, right now I'm using this oil that I think they don't make anymore. Uh, of course. Dior, <laughs> Dior, it's called uh, Musk. Oh, right. Okay. It's an oil. It's by it's, Elon. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, no, it's uh, it's it's, it's don't, don't laugh at this man. Don't encourage um, him. 
it's uh, <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice because yeah. it's like it's like um, a soft mask. It's like I a guess. roller. It's a no. It's like it's like old like style. It's like a, a glass oh. thing, and then it's like, like a, a stopper, dabber. a glass stopper. Yeah, 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 yeah. My man's doing dabs. Dab. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Clive more. Christensen is also very good. Yeah. Um, but I would I would like to make my own. So if you're not wearing sneakers, what are you wearing on your feet? Then well, you got sneakers on today. And you Burks. About the, Burks. Burks. All Z- season. Zonas. I, I, you know, I fly so much and then sure. in the plane, my foot gets swollen. Mm. Bro, compression and socks. Yeah. I know everyone tells me that I can't do it because my feet get hot. So I just like don't wear socks and just wear my Burks on the plane. And that's disgusting. Why? I don't know. Yeah. Seeing bare feet on the plane. I it's don't gross. walk around. I'm I'm very good at like my sleep habit there. Yeah. I just like right, right. Like eye mask, face mask, hood. You got a routine. You got a whole. And then I just whole I could, as a frequent flyer, you know the fucking vibes. Yeah, I sleep like at least sixties. What pills? What pills you popping? A Xanax. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bars. Bars. Xanax. Bars. Literally. Xanax. A beer. See Ooh. you over, over oh. in Japan. See you in Milano. Well, yeah. in, <laughs> well, Japan was the worst. But I'd just be like, see you in Alaska. You know, outside like the light. <laughs> eat a little bit and then land. And sure. Then, you know. Make sure you break night. Uh, so you only rock in red Burks. You wear the red Burks all the time on IG, but like, what's the rotation of Burks? You got like Boston. I just Arizona's. honestly, honestly, I can't wear Boston's anymore. I need the ankle support. Get oh, okay, really? I need the ankle support. Yeah. That the I'm, zone I'm is provide? Older. I don't know why. I don't know. I think it's, it's because what that, is that top that strap, higher strap is like lock, it locks yeah. in better than the. Yeah. I can't. The top of the Boston is a little. That's why I'm looking forward to the Londons. I was looking. Uh, I was. I have a. I have an old pair of Tokyos that I have to dig out. But Tokyos are like Boston's with the strap. Yeah. Yeah. But Tokyo's are good, uh, but I can't do Boston's anymore. And I have a lot. I have a pair of Chrome can't like Boston's fucking, too. What? I know. I was gonna ask. Oh Damn God, <laughs> that's you crazy. Need to sell them to Chris Black. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to buy it. <laughs> what other non sneakers are you rocking? Yeah, besides Burks, my own shoes. Oh, yeah. you're doing footwear. Yeah, I made footwear. Yeah. Well, we got oh, on shit. what's what, on what's what on deck. Of, yeah, what kind I, of style? so I made a derby. I made this derby that was uh, online, totally online, and I wanted to make like American Guidi. Mm. So the shape isn't between. What'd you call like, me? <laughs> 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 the, to- right the toe box is uh, kind of orthopedic. It's in between a round and a square toe. Sure. But it's meant to be like a slipper as soon as you get in. You don't have to break Ooh. it. Are in. they it, on the same level as Guidi? Like for a it's Cordovan. Oh shit. It's Cordovan. One well, I made one in Cordovan and the other one in uh this really thick cut pattern. Made leather. in Italy. Made in Italy, yeah. Nice. Good horse. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I was horse I actually ass. I actually could have gotten my hands on Horween, but it was just like insanely expensive. That horse has got a great ass. <laughs> <laughs> How much of 4S did you have to like, and like, I could go fucking turbo with the materials, but I want to dial it back because I don't want to be Everything he's talking about is full turbo, dog. I think I kind of went, I could have gone worse. I mean, I mean, what the team said to me most of all at, at one point was like, you got to stop making samples. <laughs> yeah. You have to stop. Stop making cashmere undies. No, I actually, I, I wanted cashmere and I couldn't get cashmere because it was just too expensive. Sure, sure, sure. Well, the cashmere I liked was just right, of way course, top of the line. Way too expensive. Not but, that twenty dollar um, Uniqlo fucking cashmere no. sweater. <laughs> that Chris Black shit. <laughs> but <laughs> nips on cash. <laughs> um, I did a. I I love cowboy boots a lot. Ooh, like, yeah, I love, motherfucker. I love cowboy boots. Did but you make cowboy boots? Yeah. I made. Uh, oh. So basically, the the thing that it irks me the most about cowboy boots is um the shaft. And then Pause. I can't That's do. I can't. I can't. I can't do the zip. The side zip. Oh, I want oh, hell no like a zip. So I made I what is this a hoodie from 2014? I, exactly. <laughs> Double I zip. cut I cut the shaft off and I made oh, pause. <laughs> God damn! You made a moil. You neutered top on the shaft. He neutered the cowboy boot. Yeah, the yeah. shit is no longer an uncut. And I made gem. a shoe. I made a western shoe. Oh, I put laces on it. And everything, I like so it's that. easier to wear. That's you know? that sounds Yo. wild. The wild. Does hybrid. it have a pattern on the toe box or anything? Like <laughs> not like the a, first season, but I. I mean, it's going to be like a standby for me. I'll do it every season and just like. Like, like, does it have like does it have a um, heel? Yeah, yeah. Is it is it like is it more of a roper or like a cowboy boot? Cowboy boot. Oh shit! It's full on yeah. cowboy. Boot. All right, yeah. respect, God, dude. Damn, I need to see a pic of those warlocks. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll show you. I have it in my phone. All right, cool. Put it on yeah. flow team. Um, Speaking of cowboy boot shoes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Because that's very much in the post sneaker world. Oh yes. So Lawrence and I. I mean, we feel like you're already here. We feel like actually you're the fucking like guiding spirit, like yeah. shaman of this shit. <laughs> yeah. All oh, the pod shaman, dude. <laughs> Lawrence and I have this. It's more, becoming less and less of a theory and more of a reality. OK. It's called the post sneaker world. And now we're not saying that we're completely off sneakers because obviously yeah, we love your shits like yeah. you're in sneakers. I'm in sneakers. He's in, what are you wearing? Belgian Sweats. loafers. Um, nice. EG fan. But this whole <laughs> fucking hype cycle of like sneakers app 
you lose, you flip them on StockX. If you want them, you got to cop the, for like 15X, yeah. all this fucking bullshit, you know. All the collabs. All the fucking collabs. The fact that they're putting out like 50 at a time. The fact that most styles fucking suck these days. Yeah. Mm. The post, the sneaker bubble is eventually going to pop if it hasn't already. Mm. And so what we always advise to our seven to 10 million listeners at home is like, yo, start familiarizing yourself and educating yourself on non-sneaker footwear. Mm. Do you think that the pendulum is swinging away from the hype sneaker world into the post sneaker world, as we like to call it. I think no. Ooh, yeah, I wow. Think no, yeah. I mean, you yeah. think it's going to continue? We're going to continue down this apocalyptic path? I think so. Of self destruction. Why do you? Why do you think so? I just, I've just been traveling a lot, oh, and no. I just see like you see it, the outbreaks happening. Yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> But um, I don't know. I don't. I'm kind of like uh, I, want it to end. I want it yeah. to end. I want it to end. To be honest, I not, <laughs> n- maybe us. not. Maybe not end. But I want to like. How about it? How about have a temp- balance? Of yeah, yeah, let's temper it. We need to chill. Let's temper Pump the breaks. Let's settle down. Yeah, let's settle down. Yeah, fellas. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just think and people ladies. need a way to wear their money on the sleeve, mm. kind of thing. You know, they need to like get in the door at conspicuous the club consumerism, and exactly. And it's just like yeah. I don't know. It's a good way to do it. It's a flex. Exactly. Yeah. So, and you know, if you're able to get it at a reasonable price, it's even better, right? I guess. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's like, I like some ass. that are coming out, but like the idea of buying them for resale and what those resale prices are when we could, when I could instead get a pair of like Celine loafers, if I wanted to, or Belgian loafers to me, it's just like, what are you, what are people doing? It's the yeah. same, but you know, has there been a pair of sneakers that's dropped recently that really moved your dick and you're like, wow, I need to get these. I need to like hit the plug or like sign up and try and cop yeah. off a raffle. Uh, I'd love to know what hype beast shit kind of resonates with you, if anything. I got the, Tickles the, your the pickle. Nike SBs, the, the Travis's, the no, Costins. No, no. Okay. You got the Costins. Yeah. You, you made me realize that those were fucking sick and then yeah. I copped them. You influenced me. <laughs> the, 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 the UNC, the UNC, the UNC yeah, low, yeah. Jordan one low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great shit. Actually my boss copped them for me. But <laughs> I was, I was bummed about the fit though. The really? It's not like the old SB fit. I was really bummed about that. Like even like Vans, I only wear pros. Oh shit. I can't wear regular Vans. They, they'll kill my back. You got, you got crazy back, uh, foot issues. I'm uh, back issue. Most of all, but yeah, foot. Feet yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I want to be comfy. I want no. I'll fall off my ass now. <laughs> uh, no, you could I be just, on our skate team. I the just broke want, dick mongoloids. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're always looking for. Yo, listen, man. Yeah, membership is always open. We, can I make the merch? Send it. Yes. yes. Are you fucking kidding yes. me? Yes. That'd be yes. Fire. Yes. <laughs> Do you push Mongo? I don't know what that is. You're in. Uh, you're in, baby. You're in. <laughs> Past. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Let's kick flip you in. Yeah. I, I don't. I was bummed man, about the fit. What did you think twist. about the fit? Right into the pod. Uh, honest to God, it was my first pair of Jordan One Lows. Well, they're SBs. They're skateboarding. They're Nike skateboarding. Right, but are they? Any they're different? meant to have better heel support. And so, uh, what, so how was the fit? Was it super skinny? No, it was. It was uh, the only Nike like, SBs I have are the Ortho uh, Janoskis, the fucking yeah Velcro right. shits. <laughs> why? Why? Because they're fucking fire. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> no, they are. Acting, Absolutely acting not. ripped them off like three years later. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I used to have a lot of them because my um, my brother had a friend who had a skate shop in Long Island, and they would get us like we had all like that Martians and all that. Sure, nonsense. sure, sure. Were you like flipping them or no? I would wear. Them. I would wear them. Just a flex. I would just wear. wear them. No, sneakers. actually, like I have. I actually have all three of the. Oh, no, I only have two of the Travis Scotts, and I have never worn them. I really? Should probably sell them. Yeah, bro, that's like that's the a, majority my mortgage. Of your daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you your mortgage. Your daughter's think, t- college. Why do you, you bought? You just bought them through the plug. To I have? forgot. <laughs> I, forgot I, I forgot I had. That's them. the flex. That's Which ones bar. are they? Uh, the, the, the green ones because my, my little girl has a pair too because they, the they got the me a pair and my little, yeah yeah they got me and my little girl a pair for the beans and then the one with the backward <laughs> swoosh the, the ones you have the yeah. ones in the sixes yeah damn yeah. yeah you should sell those dude those suck yeah I don't mind the backward swoosh eh. you put pink laces in them do you have the union <laughs> you have the union Jordans ooh no I have to think well about you know that. who does Larry and Jimmy we do yeah Hell nice. yeah, we do. Shout out Union, baby. Shout out, <laughs> shout out Christopher. Shout out the family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We fuck with labor. Yeah. <laughs> um, sneaker Mount Rushmore. Go. All time. Oof. Oh, man. That's a lot. Uh, it is. It's a lot of sneakers. Uh, Mephisto. Oh, shit. Hermes. Damn, I sound like a snob. You no. are a snob. So that's Holy cool. shit. I sound like a snob. It, that's what Vans happens. Vans Zabanka. Vans Pro. Right. Any not van, snob, not snob. Any any model, any model Vans Pro. 
uh, the, the, the sneaker. Where form sneaker. meets function, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> What's last? What's your Teddy Roosevelt? Uh, is your, Prada, is your America's Cup? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, you kind of mentioned this, but we want to know what stores are you fucking with? What are the, around, the world, for, it's around the world. Global. Because you're a fucking global citizen. So, like, what stores, not just New York? Yeah. Milano. Tokyo. Well, my, my favorite, like, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Italian. Pa- like Parco in Tokyo is amazing. What is that? Parco in Tokyo is what amazing. What is that? It's like a, it's like a classic. Wait, you don't know about this? <laughs> I do. I'm about to. You fucking fraud. I didn't grow up in Tokyo. I grew up in New York. <laughs> it's like a very old classic department store. Um, like a mini mall. Is it a depato? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> but the new Parco uh, on the Taco. top of the hill of Shibuya is amazing. It's amazing. It's like really. Do you go to like the. But uh, I, their food court is shit. Really? Yeah. You need to. Parco, call me up. I'll help you out with that food court. You need really? to have a, a banging food court. Do you go to the, um, do they have a, a hundred yen shop at the top? Do you go to those? Uh, that's like a part-time job to go through all the Parco. Bro. It's like, I think it's like nine floors. Damn. So like the department stores in Japan are still big gas and they're very much like where people go to shop. Yeah. Um, cause they're in all, Asia, Korea is the same they're way. They're all at the train stations, which are like the main commercial the hubs. hubs of activity. Yeah. 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 Um, Parco was amazing. No, but the first store, like besides like, um, Ralph, Ralph's mansion, uh, the first like fashion, fashion, fashion. Maybe when I was fashion now working room. in fashion was probably uh, Ten Corso Como. Mm. Iconic, yeah. Plus, like because I, I went there like twenty years ago, and I remember the first time I went. I've never seen it. I, the first time I went there, it was like Dyson had just came out, like the the vacuum vacuum cleaner. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was like Dyson at the place Fire. next to like <laughs> ten thousand dollar Valentino gowns. Right, 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 next to like bejeweled dildos. <laughs> Like, Which one of those you cop, my guy? <laughs> None. Yeah. And I, I had a lot of fun like, with all three. Yeah. Exactly. Sucking exactly. on this dildo. No, no. It was just Dyson. Like, it, it's just, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy down. because it's like perfect iteration of Italy. Like it's like a Ferrari. Yeah. You yeah, know, exactly. it's like fast, Ferrari. well-made and trashy. Yeah. <laughs> have you all been to the 10 Corsa Como at South Street here in New York? I have not. It's... I've heard, I've heard mixed things. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, I, it's, like it's not... It's not a necessary destination. I was supposed to, like, leave it at that. I was supposed to go to a photo show they did there, and then uh, my friend was like, oh, there's a list. And I was like, oh. I, and uh, was like, Daddy. There's a list? And so I was like, are we on the list? He's like, uh, he's like, let's just go to dinner. I was like, All right, <laughs> yeah. <let's- laughs> yeah, sounds good. So, uh, but no, I've not gone. I've, it's like, that's a mission. Yeah. To get to you South know, Street? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There's like a good Momofuku restaurant there. Yeah? Yeah. There's also another one. You know, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a bunch. There's, there's a bunch. also <laughs> other ones that are not <laughs> there. Um, what about Nepenthes, New York, Tokyo? London? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, or London, well, I've been too. to all of them. I How's mean, the one in I London? Mean, the London is the newest small, one, right? It's, it's small. It's it looks nice. beautiful from the picture. Yeah, I mean, New York is New York. I, I yeah. had a hand in that, right? Sure. So That's your yeah. home. That's your baby. Yeah, kind of, right? Yeah. yeah. You ran that shit with your pinky, you said. <laughs> No, no, no. I was my. I had a pinky, pinky on it. I had a pinky on it. I had a dip, pinky on it. Dipped in one in the pin, uh, one in the but, stick. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the no, Tokyo actually, one. I, I always just, tell people. I just came from L.A. and I thought like like when I started my market, I was like, oh man, like retail is not really good. <laughs> Telling me, brother. Just generally speaking. <laughs> but, but L.A. was amazing. Really? really? I was really impressed. What? I had Chrome Art Store. Beautiful. In actually, LA. actually. Really? I actually didn't go to the one in LA. I went to the one in Malibu. Oh, how's oh that must be fucking talk, <laughs> it was, oh, I talk was, about Ferraris. Was, yeah. <laughs> no, best chrome, best chrome heart store in the world is Aoyama. Okay. And Aoyama is amazing. How many Japanese stores do does Chrome have? A lot. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah that's, that's Aoyama's like that's the, the bread and butter. Asia is the bread and butter. Don't people chrome. fuck with what's uh Goro's more? That's insane too. But no. Yeah. Chrome Goro's is, just one location, right? Yeah. Is it? It's like any works out of that. Yeah. The guy works yeah. in the workshop. Yeah. Right. I don't know how many Chrome has, but they have a lot. Yeah. I mean, like, listen, like, as, well, I think like comb is kind of highbrow and they do collabs with Chrome. It's pronounced mm. cum. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what stores in LA are you fucking with? Cause this, uh, this is crazy. Like, um, I like Bodega out there was really nice. Uh, just when I was insane. Um, H. Lorenzo was amazing. Mm. I mean, Maxfield, uh, Maxfield to me is always like, uh, when I, when I was a kid, my mom really couldn't take care of me in the summer, so she would send me to LA 
to our friends. So I would take the summer vacation out there. Fire. And I remember as a little kid, Last I don't know status. why I exactly. It. And I was, for some reason she, she cleaned houses and I was like in, we were in that neighborhood and I wandered in there and I was just like, what the hell is this? The fuck is this was fucking it, art store? Was it similar to like what it is now? Yeah, I, I don't think Has it's it changed cha- much. I mean, I, I think I, it's a beautiful store. I mean, I'm not no, no, I mean, it's there, it's amazing because like, um, like they are still like an Hermes and Chanel account. There's not right. that many. And they have like a loose site placket that says like official Hermes dealer. Right, right. That's like, in, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's so fucking amazing. I don't know if they have it now. I right, actually right. went, but I didn't really look for it. I just was like sure, in sure. and out. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they're an, it's an institution. I mean, that's like, it is what it is. You know? Yeah. It's, it's definitely an institution. Uh, but right. I thought that was good. Um, where you shopping? That's that my fourth. Um, no, no, this is just stores. Yeah. Where, where are you shopping? Oh, no, my um. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're Mount Rushmore of fucking of local ums. picks. Uh, what about New York? Like, if people, so you know, a lot of kids listen to this podcast. We've answered this question before. We've asked other guests, but the, if the kid is coming to New York, where should they be shopping besides Nepenthes? Obviously, yeah. which they should go destination yes, shop absolutely. for sure. For you go sure. there, get lunch at Sabaros, have a real New York experience. <laughs> another you know, two bros, one dollar slice. Bros, on the corner. Yeah, two bros, two bros, two bros. Um. I mean, if if you just, I don't know, New York is tough. Like Dover Street, you know, right? Toto, a lot, Toto. Um, I still love If. Yeah. I mean, I've been going going in there forever. If is really, it is a fun like browse because it's all the crazy avant garde stuff. It's nice to see yeah. a person get get hands on with these wild brands like CCP or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I was Touch a kid, it. I used to buy all the Margella Age shirts all the time because oh, it was yeah. like the only thing I could really afford. Right, right. right. And then I started getting more into other things, but then I just stopped because it was just like, I don't know. But, um, it's tough. Like BG is always great. Like it's fun. You know, like if you, what's the, uh, what's the big department store in Long Island? Do you go to that one? Hirschfield? Oh, oh Hirsch Hirsch Lifers. Lifers. Yeah. Hirsch Lifers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really, it's really close to my house. It's like 15 minutes. I feel like you would love that shit. No, we, I go there often because my little girl thinks like, uh, it's an ice cream store. <laughs> oh, because of the kids treats or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, uh, <laughs> uh, full disclosure, my, my sister works there. Oh shit. Oh. Conflict so, of interest. Next topic. Yeah. Exactly. But no, 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 Damn. no. But Busted. Uh, her, her boss, uh, like, you know, is Ronnie Feig. Uh, I don't know if I should say their names, but yeah, one of their, one of her, one of their bosses is one of the main people there. And my little girl is like, Oh, let's go to X's ice cream store. Uh. <laughs> Let's go to Mr. Softy. It's like 15 yeah. minutes away. And it's like, you know, it's like a really, it's a really interesting walk. Cause it's like, when you go oh, you there, walk, you're walking, it's like a strip mall. Yeah. It's a strip. No, mall. But you're walking to the mall. No, no, no. We drive store? there and okay. we walk around. We'll, we'll get an yeah, ice cream yeah. and Make walk an around, bit, you know? Yeah. And they have, they have a, a little restaurant. It's not little, this restaurant called Cipollini, which is actually pretty good. And you know, it's just like Ralph is there. Right. The I fly always, strip mall in, in America. Yo, I next maybe. next next throwing fits outing. Yo, we should go. Go to the fucking strip mall. I, I mean, mean if you I've go, never been to Hearst Life, but I've heard go, that it's like it, this. It's amazing. It's, a it's an amazing store. Yeah. It's an amazing, amazing store. Best, best but brand. it's you know, if you go there on the weekends, it's like you you look at their like parking lot and it's like Ferraris and yeah, yeah. Ferraris. Like, it's insane. <laughs> but but and I What are you wait, pushing? Are you pushing a Ferrari? I was gonna ask. No, no, I have a Coke White Testarossa. Mayonnaise with colored bins. I have a an, <laughs> an old X3, whips. a BMW X3. Okay. Nice, dude. but I I have the one that was made right before they stopped making them in Austria. Now they make them all in Alabama. Beamer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, no, no, no. What I was going to say is that uh, I lost my train of thought. Now, other oh, just shop. Oh no, no. I've seen. I've seen you. You'd enjoy this story. I've seen with my own two eyes <laughs> a church bus pull up to that strip mall. And they just like ransack Chanel, just really? like, rah, 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 on Sundays after mass or whatever. And I remember years ago because because like, when like I that? lived when I lived in Queens, <laughs> it was also fifteen minutes away from me. Like it was like sure, right, sure. right there. Um, and I was online getting coffee one time, and this is when uh, what's the name of that brand? Hood by Air was huge. Yeah, and I was online, and there was a a dad, Chinese dad, wearing. <laughs> Full on hood by air sweatsuit, fire with rock ports, <laughs> getting coffee. Hell yes! Did I mean, he look dope? No, <laughs> but it was amazing. It was like art. 
Yeah, it was yeah. more like it wasn't about. You're like, dope. yo, look at this art installation. I was like, yeah, this is an, it was old it was Chinese that. man wearing HBA head to toe with um, it was, off with the rock. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had the yes. balls to have taken a, a photo. Wait, when was how recently was this? A oh, while this, ago. Was HBA, yeah, yeah, 2015, yeah. 16. Yeah. Before I bought Damn. my house, so I yo, don't what remember. is that guy up to now? He has a big relaunch coming. No, I meant the guy wearing the rock ports. Oh, yeah. I think he just walked in that store and whatever was expensive. Give me your like, second most expensive garment. But then he got give me your most expensive rock ports. Yeah, I know, I know. That's that's a that's the brilliant part where it was like the rock ports. Yeah, yeah. that's how we order wine at the restaurant. We uh, always just ask for the second least. <laughs> yeah. At Carbon, we said give us something in the mid one hundreds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so did you really? A, it's more of a trickle up versus a trickle yeah. down. If you know, what it I'm was saying. delicious. Yeah, to it was. be clear. It was so delicious. We got two bottles. I was yeah. wasted. <laughs> Thank you to our patrons. <laughs> um, any stores you're not fucking with currently? Yeah. Like, who's, who's fucking up? Who's doing it wrong? Barney's? I don't go into stores enough, to be honest with you. I mean, well, Barney's is RIP, R. right? Yeah. Bitch. I don't go into stores enough. Like when what about, I was what about e-commerce, what e-commerce are you not? I don't buy anything online. Really? I really? Like, have to my touch wife it? does. I have to see it. Like I'm a real weirdo about that. Once in, tactile, hands once on. in a while, I'll buy something. What if there's like a fire really? return policy? I mean, that's what convinced me to sell to Porter when I was at EG. Right, right. Because their service is amazing. Amazing. But yeah, it uh, used to be that you couldn't, uh, like, even at, like, end clothing or an online stockist, you used to not be able return. to get yeah. a EG. You had to, like, call them up or right. some shit. Yeah. So Chuck, fucking annoying, bro. Chuck, oh, well, sorry. Speaking the mic. Sorry. So I annoying. Oh, I barely sorry. heard any of that. Was that me or? No, no, no. no. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm I don't, I don't glad wanna, it wasn't me. I don't want to keep, <laughs> I don't keep I'm just coaching disparaging there. engineer garments. Is 4S going to be available on e-commerce? Uh, I, this is my business, so I'm, I'm wearing a sandwich <laughs> board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll carry Spinning it in for you. <laughs> fucking sign, doing flips. Fucking Facebook uh, reels. Facebook ads. No, you it's weird hired now. Trump's digital team. It's, yeah. it's so weird now because it's like it's my business, right? Sure. So, no, but Time I, to sell I out. Have, I have good doors, so I'm, I'm the, as far as online is concerned. Where are we going to see it? I'm not. What do you say? <laughs> I'm not sure if I can, to be honest. Really? Because you haven't fulfilled the orders yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. <laughs> uh, so, God God wood, things go sideways. You don't want to hold them to No, a date. like a porter, essence, Ooh, woo, things of like that. All nature. the big dogs. Yeah. Like, can't really? wait to see how essence styles those disco. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> Actually, I'm really, I'm really pumped about about, about them. But you know, about I had their trash styling. No, I think it's interesting. You yeah, think that's, so? well, that's, it's a that's signature. That's what people say because it's bad. It's a signature. Yes. I don't know. You see I, a screenshot it is, it's or whatever, so bad. You know it's, it's like messages. iconic. You know, like for thing. me, for like me, for me, I was like, it was always like very like looking full like James on. in the club after <laughs> too much fun, dude. Catatonic, bro. I gotta see that. When no, are we hanging through. out, bro? Come you should have hung out last weekend, man. Oh really? No, it next, was, next it was a disaster. It was nasty. Yeah, <laughs> really? we'll we'll we all the... got after it quite a bit. Yeah. Wow. Again, shout, what, shout out our patrons. Natty Wine, <laughs> Natty Juice, and Claw, a paw full of claws. That's what it'll do to you. Yeah, that's just wow. the pregame, baby. Wow. And then uh, roughly 6,000 Budweiser's. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't mind Budweiser's now. Oh, I love. Oh, you you weren't you were. I was really like a really yeah it's, dude. It's Wait, fucking, were you only fucking with like Dement like the president? King of Beers, dude. <laughs> I like Presidente a lot. <laughs> oh, but, okay. Wait, are you are you Homer. Dominican? No, no, I'm Salvadorian. Yeah, yeah. So what's with the what's the Dominican? You love the Dio. I grew up with family? Dominicans. Okay, and my wife is half Dominican. And like A Rod honor, honorary. And A Rod. And A Rod <laughs> uh-huh. Yankee chairman of Presidente now. Shut up. Wait, yeah. really? Yeah. No the way. Chairman of Presidente. Yeah, Pierre? bro. Presidente, if you want to make some merch, bro. Oh, that would be fucking. Uh, hell yeah. I was I was kind of too fancy with my drinks. I just I just slowed down a bit. I loved. Uh, what's your drink of choice currently? If if yeah no like ultimate a Hennessy XO with ginger beer mm. good a god real ginger beer it's like a forty five dollar drink <laughs> it's amazing though <laughs> to get drunk off of that there's nothing like it your taste wow. level is this no is... no no you should try it honestly yo what about it's, uh, it's, it's, Henny White you fuck with ooh. that I do I do I do. only available in, in DR yeah, right yeah in, or the in the Caribbean, Caribbean. In the Caribbean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I have touch wood I have good friends that always bring me some because I haven't been to the group in a long time that should be the name of the touch wood yeah touch wood (laughs) actually actually my partner he would get a kick they always make fun of me because in Italy it's like it's like what the fuck doing yeah but also people say knock on wood no one says touching touch wood makes me think of si- sitting courtside at like msg or a hand job hashtag touch wood. yeah <laughs> they're both that. very close right yeah, <laughs> yeah. getting a hand job courtside I, at I, msg i sat courtside Woo! like from first james dolan and it, it's the most amazing thing wait you sat courtside at, at a nick the, game what how i somebody gave me some tickets and i was oh. it was amazing yeah. after you do that it's like every all you, sporting events are ruined yeah where on the court, were you? Uh, right by the by the Nick by where they sit. What's crazy? So I've sat second row. You can see like they like signal with their eyes and shit. Like yeah. it's very quiet. 
No I, I was really sitting talking. next to uh, it would what's pick up, right? Probably on the uh, what's the rapper months. that has like the food show? I feel bad. I, I like Ashton Bronson. Bronson. Yeah, I was sitting next to him. Oh, sick! And Did you he, guys hang out. And with he them? had no, I didn't know him at all. But he had a, he a fellow big beardian. Yeah, yeah, he was. I any that's another thing. But uh, <laughs> okay. he had a disposable camera. Okay, and he kept trying to take pictures of uh, D Rose when he was on there, mm. and he was just straight up just dissing him, just like looking every other way but his wouldn't let him get a shot. Really? Oh, D was, Rose was dissing yeah, him. Yeah, he was just sort of like, huh. damn. He was just like, sorry, Bronsolino. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt bad. I was like. Eh. That's too bad. Don't, action Bronson. Don't feel is, bad for Action Bronson. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing I'm great. sure he's doing well. Yeah. What about let's let's get off Johns for a second. Yeah. Let's go into the wider. Okay. You know, the je ne sais quoi of Angelo. Uh, what film and TV are you currently fucking with? What are you watching? What's on the Netflix queue? Do you have to watch fucking trash kid shows with your daughter? Yeah. Actually, my my daughter actually starts calling out or calling her out on it, and she's like, "Mom, Bravo again." <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, no, what does she watch on Bravo? Yeah, we're Bravo, Bravo we're fucking big Bravo boys. boys. I think everything. Oh, that's we should have your wife on the podcast. Yeah, maybe, maybe she doesn't like the boat shows though. Not below. Oh, deck. the below decks. Yeah, she the doesn't boat, like the boat show. <laughs> well, that's at what the, I, at the Javits she's, Center. She'll, she'll, I draw the line at the boat shows. She'll, she'll um, uh, she'll put like you know we we alternate and she'll put my daughter down and she'll be like, can you tape? Can you put a you know she doesn't DVR it for some reason. Oh really? She just catches it when it's on. What is it, like Housewives? Well, usually, yeah. Okay. And then she'll say to me, oh, put it on, and, I, and I'll put it on. And I'm like, oh, it's a boat show. She's like, ah, oh, boat shows. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boat shows, bro. Yeah. Yeah, she's- Does she, she fuck with Vanderpump? I don't think so. That's the bro show. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she does. I think she'll watch it, but she's not into it. Right, she's not plugged in. No, she's not. Yeah, yeah. Summer it's House? It's mostly like, no, definitely not. Oh. Southern Charm? I think she used to like it. She doesn't like oh, it anymore. No, it's it's having a renaissance. Tell her, yeah? to, tell her to fucking plug back in. It's very All right, well, it's funny. Her. Like I feel with Bravo, you either fuck with the A level shit, which is like Housewives, yeah. or the B level shit, which is like and and well, Vanderpump, Vanderpump is say A level a, for sure. Then B is like Southern Charm. All the boat shows, Yo, uh, but you Summer know, House. Easy jumped over the jump, man. This shit is becoming a level as we speak. Summer House is the fucking uncut gems of television. Yeah. Really? What do you what do you watch? Yeah, what are you into? Um. Sorry for everybody just talking about Bravo. <laughs> actually, actually, Mordecai told me to watch Shit's Creek. Yeah, and right. I got into it. It's funny, but then I got I got annoyed because like I was really fascinated by like the character, the gay character. Yeah, he wears Dan a lot of Rick. That's uh, yeah, Dan, thought, the the, the Dan famous Levy. Dan Levy. Yeah. But I think it was just Levy. like Dan Levy. It kind of got to a point where it just became a character of uh, like a gay guy. Okay. And I got really bummed about that because I thought it was really kind of dynamic, really cool character. And then it right. just kind of became a stereotype in your this mind. fell is apart he, for me. But he's it's the creator fun. Of the writer? He's yeah, the yeah. creator but of the show. He's the creator of the show. Catherine O'Hara, yeah. is that her name? She's amazing. She's hilarious. She yeah. should win something for it that. It just, I don't know where you are in the show, but didn't it just end? Yeah, the final season. People were like, it's Canadian. It's Canadian yeah. show. I, we skip now. around now. Yeah. Okay. You just watch we, it randomly? Yeah, we just, whatever we catch. Because you don't really need to follow the storyline, which sure. I think is really fun it's a real, too. It's a real life father, son. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, and the daughter is in it. She's the- The waitress. The waitress at the thing. Yeah. And the and the brother produces it. Okay. Damn. It's all in the family. Yeah. It's like TF, keep it in the family, baby. Yeah. Um, are you mostly a lighthearted comedy type of, <laughs> type of viewer? Actually, yeah, I'm actually, I'm, a, I'm, I get too emo. I can't watch anything too sad. Or, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Like, especially are you a crier, now, a big crier. Um, no, but I get bummed out. Damn, uh, I get really too bummed it out. Harshes your What's vibes. it like? Up? Have you ever seen Up? Yeah, of course. Yeah, oh we, my god, we just that's like up. you just memed it today. <laughs> Gut wrenching. Yeah. Oh my just god, that, it's that opening scene. Oh my god, it's insane. Yeah. yeah. I can't do you let do your daughter watch shows or movies that like? deal with more complicated emotions. We are now, uh, we're now kind of, well, no, she, she can't watch it. She'll, she'll be like, I'm good. She'll be like, really? Yeah. We, I can't watch this. Back anymore. to Bluey. Back to Bluey. Pops. Exactly. Damn. Yeah. She's like, she gets really like mate. sad. Back to, and back to like, Bluey, no. mate. She takes after If her we're pops. home, if we're home, she'll just, I need to turn that off. And we're kind of mm -hmm. challenging her to like push through it. Sure. But uh, I don't want to push her either. Like, I get it. Right. From my point of view, I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to see like, that. I don't want to watch this fucking yeah, sad like, ass shit. Yeah, this is fucking bumming me out. I, saw, I, was, <laughs> I work from home and I, I don't I try not to turn the TV on, but I needed noise the other day. And they, there is this movie with like a really not so good movie with Nick Nolte where he has Alzheimer's. OK. And his granddaughter is trying to take him to Venice. And it's just like I just I heard overheard bits of it. And I was like, I got to turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> as bad as this is like right, it's right. just too sad so do you watch so you just watch comedies movies and tv like i think so yeah like are, stand up i watch a lot of stand up oh, yeah yeah, what's, yeah. Any your, specials what's, we should be checking for on netflix i assume when you say we uh, just saw the one that uh the woman who did uh precious the one who won the oscar 
Monique. She just did one for Showtime. Oh. And there was a couple people on there that were really good. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, she like hosted a show. It yeah, like she a had show. like a, a, that was the show she was meant to do for Netflix, but then she but found she out. Right, yeah. that's yeah. right. Damn, I forgot about that. Are you a big comic like nerd? Or are you just like- A it? little bit, but I just, I don't give myself enough time to do Who's it. Who's on your Mount Rushmore of comics? Ooh. Dave. For sure. Cat. Yes. Oh, love Cat Pimp Williams. Chronicles. Oh, oh no. God. Yo, cat, that fit. You should do what, that. Cat you should do is, that green suit. Yo, in forest. Cat, cat is amazing. Swag and his for references days. are in, insane. Sambuki. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. So fucking. But uh, I'm so trying cat, to think. Dave. Uh, there's a guy who's on. Um, what's his <laughs> name? I, I'm so bad with names. I forget, it's this guy. Who, he's a character on. Modern, not modern. Blackish, no. Yeah, Black-ish. Anthony Anderson. Anderson. No, no. The, it's a side character. Oh. Uh, I don't know. It's one know. of the side oh, characters. Um, fuck. This is embarrassing. I know who you're talking about. He's amazing because he has like a list and he pull out he pulls out the list and he'll like sell a joke and then he'll look around and he'll be like, oh, all right. <laughs> he'll go right across it off. Do a little crowd <laughs> so, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So he's he's got he's charming a bit, but uh we we watch a little bit of everything, but it's just like it's it's a lot of bad stuff out there too, man. <laughs> Telling us what was your favorite a lot, movie a lot of bad of last podcasts. Year? Do you have one? Of last year. Yeah. Of last year. Um I don't know. Oh my god! Do you Are see you like Parasite or Uncut Gems? Or... I haven't seen any of that. Damn. Are you no. a big movie guy in general? Clearly I used not. to be. I used to be. My brother is. My oh, brother right. is. In, in, it, actually, when he, me and him, unfortunately, because he's like in the middle of nowhere, Bushwick, we would go to. The, I would go to the movies with him. But Who now, Chuck, tell him if he wants to go see a movie. Zoomy, yo, Zoomy. He buddies. actually, he actually prefers to go alone now. Yes, oh, that's that, never that's, mind. That's called growing up and being an adult. By the way, is going to the movies by yourself. That's that the is best. depressing to me. Oh, what? <laughs> it's, no, it's, see, that's the wrong mentality. It's it, solitude, honestly, man. It it's feels it feels very depressing. But once you break that ice oh. and like start doing it, it's great. It's like eating at a restaurant alone. If you I just can't do that, that's what? fire. That's the best. You put, I got, your, I'll you eat can, a, put your headphones in. You can read whatever you want. Podcast. You sit yeah. at the bar. <laughs> you can sit at the bar so you can see I, the at the bar. Yeah. I, I love sitting at the bar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, love, I would always sit at the That's, bar for sure. That makes That's, it feel not weird for you? Yes. Yeah. yeah Just yeah, do yeah. that. Totally. Just totally. do that. But you wouldn't like go to the movies and sit in the dark and have some popcorn by yourself. No. Be alone with your thoughts. No. So you're not, are you? Well, the thing is like I, I, I have, I'm very strained family wise. I have to do a lot of things for my right. family. Sure. So I don't have a lot of alone time. <laughs> What is your alone? What is what is your? Let's say you have the, a full day to yourself. What are you doing? I would probably have some edibles and go to the museum. Yeah, Fire. hell which, yeah. Which museum? Any. Which edibles? And then have some like <laughs> it, like like the museum of natural really history or like, or like no no Guggenheim. no like yeah a, like Guggenheim or MoMA. You, if you oh you guys should go to the Modern next if you've never been there. The Modern is amazing. It's a restaurant that's uh, attached to the MoMA. Oh it's nice. Really really really. The really Whitney's good. supposed to have a really good restaurant too. I haven't eaten that. I haven't been since it relaunched. The new with, shit? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Met. But uh, yeah, like and have an expensive lunch. Okay. Nice. Or, or just get hammered at St. Regis and then Fire. let the net, let, 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 let it just take you. Let God, <laughs> let God sort it out. I remember when- You I are first, definitely invited to the next TF outing. <laughs> yeah, dude. I remember uh, a friend of mine, <laughs> we started drinking at a place and we ran into like Spike Lee- <laughs> Courtside at the yeah, Knicks. You, no, no, no. Was that a friend of Action Bronson that you're with? And we were, we were just, he was, I hadn't seen him. And he's like, let's celebrate. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, I haven't seen you. And you just started your thing or whatever. And we started drinking McAllen. Oh, nice. At like five o'clock. <laughs> Pro move. And then we you're were- a brown guy. We were, I know. No, I am. That, <laughs> wasn't, that wasn't a race. That wasn't what a race. What did you call thing. him? <laughs> that wasn't a race thing. <laughs> and then we, anyway, long story short. It just got ugly and it you guys was like blacked out. And it was like 7 30. <laughs> I had St. Regis and we were just like, what? And Spikes. then we just, yeah, and then we just it went nuts. <laughs> Is that where Giuliani drinks? I've never seen him there and I've been going there forever. I, I think he drinks like the Pierre Hotel, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. That um, makes sense. But Midtown is also a fun place to get drunk during the day. And there's facts. loads of places. Monkey Bar, that's a, that's a really good time. You had your fucking presentation at a, at a, well, that's Garment not district Midtown, Inst- to but me. it's Garment District yeah. Institution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar. Oh, that that definitely is an institution yeah. for me. I, I love that bar. It's like, it's it's really just like a really old piece of New York. You know? Yeah, yeah. Next like a time County. capsule. Or yeah, 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 yeah. The only thing that's changed is the floor, <laughs> which it should have. <laughs> <laughs> Was it just like super sticky, it, and carpeted. Ooh, yeah. good carpeted. God. Yeah, I it's shot like in, Chuck's apartment. I shot an editorial. Tear down this carpet. 
I shot an editorial there and I think I could say it now. Fuck it. But uh, I shot an editorial there for complex that they they gave me like a hundred dollars, seven pages or something like that. And basically I uh, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all EG. Uh, for Nepenthes, for okay. Nepenthes, and then basically I. Was it, oh, I remember this. Was it Matt Henson who did it? No, or, I styled it. No, but did like who? Dude, Noah. I, I, oh, Noah, really? Yeah. yeah, really. Shout out NCB. What's his name? Uh, uh Noah Modeled it. Um, Johnson, Narc Dad. Oh no, Johnson, not Noah Callahan Bever. Well, he was. I don't know who Narc actually Dad. approved Narc it in the end, but he he was. He it was, was the one. fucking Narc of all Narcs. Yeah, that king, son of the a king bitch. of gingers. I think I told. I think I told him. <laughs> yeah, I told him the story. Fuck. But we 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 <laughs> we photographed <laughs> that sheet of paper. <laughs> we photographed all the artists that had shown at the gallery at the store, or okay. at art at the at the store rather. And one of the guys that was a, had a photography a photography show shot it, and he shot it on film. Oh, nice. And when he went to develop it, he pushed the film. No. Yeah. Bro, you ain't a fucking senior. <laughs> What'd you do? What was the backup I plan? I reshot it frame for frame the next day. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, dude. Never Fuck. told him, just delivered the goods. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Man. Yeah. But I day, love that bar. Next day, I Noah Johnson's bar. fired. Yeah. No, so. no, no, no. <laughs> well, he deserves it. So yeah. you don't even watch film. Like, you just don't have the time for yeah, it? Yeah. He can move yeah. On. I mean, I want to see, like, the Margella documentary. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to see that. It's supposed I want to be good. To, yeah, it's supposed to be really good. I want to see. Do you watch fashion docs? Like, did you watch Dior and I? Um, the yeah. September issue. What was the Valentino one? The Last Emperor. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah, I saw what was them. The September issue. I wasn't. I didn't make like an effort. I wasn't like, oh, I gotta go see that. Right. Did but anyone did like the Dries documentary? I just heard it was very boring. Yeah. I well, like well, so here's the thing. Yeah. Dries is like a boring. <laughs> He's like a very nice man who yeah, loves yeah, his yeah. dogs and loves his flowers. And his, but his crib is. I saw the Dries I, documentary. I, it's, it's good. I mean, his crib is. The fun. garden is mwah, right. Woo! I a whole asleep. fucking, sh- it's like a fucking chateau. He lives in like a I'm fucking. I'm sure, yeah. yeah. What get- about, let's get into a subject that oh, I yeah. know you fuck with, which is music. Fucking tunes, dude. <laughs> what are you blasting into those fucking yeah. holes on the side of your head? Uh, Young M.A. <gasps> really? I love Young M.A. Because she's so like New York? Yeah. I don't know. There's something. She up- spits, dude. I, oh my God, yeah. Bars. What, what it, she has, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck up the line, but the tax season, I fucked her during tax season. <laughs> oh my God, it's like. It's insane. Wait, so you like have wait? You're a big actually young my, fan. My, if I ever get to a place where I'm I'm taken to the the Met Ball, yeah. and I have to take like a celebrity. Oh. I would want to dress young and and take her. That's fire. Me. How would you style her? Yeah. I don't even know because I want to be respectful to her. Bouclé bust down, maybe. Tip to, tip to maybe. tail, bouclé, maybe. Bouclé Yankee fitted. Because even like when I did uh, the shoot with Timberland and DMX, yeah. like I really wanted it to be true to him. I didn't want to like style him, of course, like, not, and put yeah. him in a costume. I wouldn't want to do that to her, but um, you put me in a costume when I did my fucking EG lookbook, or was not it? EG, the Tim's lookbook. Was it? It was, like, uh, <laughs> it was a white suit, white right? tux. It was a white tux from Men's Warehouse. I was pretty. It was pretty cool. You <laughs> look was cool. Sick. I looked fucking. Dope. You look cool, you, man. That was very cool. I Thank thought, you for the opportunity. I thought all. I thought the whole thing looked great. It was. Very Thanks for cool. including me, Angelo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking loser. We weren't, we weren't best friends at that point. <laughs> At that point, you weren't drinking buddies yet. All right, so young MA, young MA. Actually, you know, I saw music. Uh, Michael Shannon Mid- Midnight Special. There's that little country song at the end. Of this Midnight. is where he plays like a hard drinking country no, singer. No, 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 no. It's like a this? sci-fi movie. What? Yeah, it's um, I yeah, it's um, I he's think- tracking down. He's the bad guy, right? No, no, no. He's, it's, it's his, his son. son. He's it's taking his. Son. his- <laughs> It's his son. He's yeah. taking his you're son. Thinking Tron. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's taking his son to a coordinates of sorts, and he's like a, a, a celestial being or something. They don't. They kind of like leave it. In limo. The, it's like a. It's like a real life. If Kirsten kid, if Dunst kid was an is X, the mom. If your kid was an X Man in real life. Like this is like what it would be about. It's has, actually like, pretty well done. And there's yeah. one song pretty, at the end that. <laughs> and I googled it, and you can't get it. Why not? I couldn't get it on iTunes or anything. Like it's not, not streaming? on streaming services. Yeah, no. What about like YouTube or like uh, SoundCloud? I don't, I don't know any of those with things. the Cardi weeks. <laughs> okay, so so that so you fuck with young so a country and that song, song that you don't remember. Or yeah, that, I just that I our just, users cannot listen to. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was really good though. Uh, <laughs> Take your word for it. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, I don't really like new stuff right now, man. I don't know. I'm, what about I'm, and, what, yeah, so what's no, your fuck, golden fuck age shit stuff? That you love? Yeah, Wu-Tang. I liked I liked the the Nas album that Kanye produced. I thought that was a good album. Oh right, I thought with the kids with the kids with the guns and their hands up. Yeah, what with was, I should know what it's called. Yeah, it's it's de- 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 it was part of those uh, <laughs> Wyoming sessions. It was the last. I one thought that I was a good album. Was it untitled? Maybe? No, no. no. I, I actually like newer Kanye music more than older Kanye music. Newer meaning like uh, the last Jesus is King. 
there's a couple of tracks on that that are okay. So for talk. a gospel album, for a gospel I mean, album, yeah, sure. You have to put it in that context. Like, yeah, the bar, are you ever, the bar is very low. I mean, it's just on you, gospel music. <laughs> Yeah, no, dude, fuck a, God. Whitey over here. As a, fuck God, as, dog. I don't know. I don't, I would go, you know, I've gone to see a show to see gospel music, but to like listen to it on your headphones, like, I don't know sure. if I would do that. So to force you to do that and no, like something. No, I mean, that's the power of Kanye. I agree. You know, I think it's like, yeah. okay. James contractually cannot speak about Kanye. Yeah. So we. Okay, moving on. But what did no, you fine. listen to growing up? Like, were you like a OG, like hip hop, like Wu-Tang? Uh, EPMD Biggie? Wu-Tang for sure. Uh, Craig Mack actually grew up in Brentwood and we oh, would nice. see him all the time. I know, RIP. Um, EPMD, uh, I don't know, De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest. Tribe is, who, who's your top five dead or alive? Oh. Uh, group or just person? A group, uh, a group can count as can a single you, you occupant. Could, you, could put, you could say like Tribe is like on my Mount Rushmore and it's not like, doesn't take a lot of time. You mean Q-Tip if you're talking about that. Yeah, if you would do that, yeah. But I would say Tribe, I would say Wu-Tang. I would say all groups so far. Interesting. Yeah. Who's your favorite member of the Woo? Ooh, this says a lot about you. I know my answer. Should we go around the room? Can I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Ghost, dude. Ghost. Hell yeah. yeah. Ghost is. The Ghost best. would be number two for me. Oh, Raekwon. The, the chef. Yeah, I think Raekwon. No, actually, you? maybe Method Man. Would be Method really? Man. I feel like Meth is probably the most underrated. Who, yeah. Meth is definitely underrated. Yeah, I would Meth, just, he's definitely underrated. Yeah. I like I just like ghost solo stuff. I'm actually not a big Wu Tang guy, but I like the solo stuff. And I that think first ghost album has, is like is insane. That when that album came out, there was like nothing. Oh, like, Enter the Thirty Six Chambers. Yeah, yeah, that album was insane. Did you fuck with like the like the kung fu movies that they were sampling, or is that before your time? Dude, before my old. time. Before <laughs> not, my time. You were growing up in the Old as fuck. I, I feel old, Rizzo. but I look old. Yeah. Oh, Jizza uh, underrated. No, too. no, I was I wasn't into it. No, yeah. I, I knew of it, but I didn't know of it. Uh, is there any music you're not fucking with? Yeah. Uh, Besides old Kanye, which is insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the good no, no, it's not that I'm not, I'm, I'm not fucking with it. It's just that I, I like. The What's your guy. favorite Yay project or album? If you had to say. Um, it's also. It's what's the, the what's the, what's the, the, the collab album with everybody? Good. Good, good, good summer or what, or what is it? Yeah. Cool summer. Cruel cool summer. summer. Excuse me. Is that? that, yeah, I think it wasn't bad. Ghostface I mean, on there too. I mean, you just love Raekwon. Cruel Summer. Raekwon on the no. It was that what it was? That Are you talking about the Good Friday? All those yeah. releases. Well, that's that was never put together. But like, it wasn't. No, it was all Lucy's leading up to my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. They were like dropped just every Friday. There's a bangers in there. Christian Dior denim flow. It's crazy Woo. that didn't make that one. Well, fuck. I What's that first line? That is it. It's Raekwon, right? That goes uh, barbecue and blow at the back of the crib. Oh, that's um. The no, what the fuck is that album? Is that's an album, no? No, no, no. Raekwon has a verse on Gorgeous, which is incredible. Yeah, but that's the only official Raekwon verse on a. He has a song with album. Ghost, Ghost and Pusha. That was on yeah. Cruel Summer, right? Yeah. I mean, anyway, Cruel Summer is an insane favorite Kanye record, by the way. If that, it can't be that. The one that had the video with Kim on the motorcycle, Bound Two. That's great. That's a great. Oh, that's song. from Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, awesome project. That that was Bound Two is the anomaly of that entire yeah, album. Yeah, it's the closer right. that doesn't yeah. sound like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great, Rick Rubin and great, Daft Punk having great. a laser tag yeah. match. That album holds up. Oh, very it's incredible, well. and it's so it's like thirty minutes long. It's just like lean and mean. It's I like that <laughs> number. Me and my wife are always like, there's there's too many songs that are too long. I agree. Like, this is just, Drake. This is Big Scorps problem. This is the Drake curse. Well, he's he's gaming the algo. Yeah, just like obviously for stream time spent. That's fair. Anyway. Um, all right. What, music, I, what about like new rap? Like, do you fuck with like new shit? Do you even keep up with it? Or are you just like, eh, not for me? You listen to Hot 97? So driving? like my wife makes fun of me because we had a we had a get together in my house, which is I, I don't like to have get togethers in my house. I shouldn't be saying this, actually, <laughs> uh, because people don't leave. It's oh, right, like, right. You're like, like, dude, I want to go to sleep. Yeah. Lingers. Yeah. Did you th- was it like a barbecue or what was the vibe? Yeah, usually. Barbecue yeah. And blow in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Episode title. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, I was playing music right off of my my phone, and one of my old older friends was like, um, "Yo, Angelo's got some good music." Da, da, da. And they were like, "And he goes, my my friend goes, yeah, but that shit ain't current." <laughs> that's your this, and so that's that's that like shit ain't current. For. So that that's that's like the line that my wife always says all the time to like give me shit. She's what was like, he looking yeah, for? Like, young nudie, like, but that shit ain't current. <laughs> <laughs> that shit yeah. ain't current. All right. Keyed. Fuck with not fuck with. Complete. Working, working title. title. Complete. It's a working Third title. Mike. It's complete. <laughs> uh, Angelo. Mike 
before we get into the meat and potatoes this john <laughs> he, looked at his, he looked at his fucking watch like yikes what did i get myself into no no it's all this good. shit ain't current uh just want to just want to play a little game with you just to put a bow on it last john next john what was the last john you copped at full retail yeah you're a cop you're a copping guy and what's the next john you got your eye on maybe it's already in the shopping cart <laughs> but you haven't hit that was a good firm. laugh by the way <laughs> <laughs> uh last john copped oh i guess i got that hermes denim hat okay but in i the, bought i bought section. i bought some vintage in in la though i did buy some vintage in la rose when you when you shop for vintage is it yeah were you at the rose bowl i was at the rose bowl Ooh, yeah. what time you get there yeah how early late real like, creative like hours 6 a.m <laughs> real no. creative hours at the rose bowl like nine damn nine damn. ten was and shit wasn't left? picked over of course it's it was over. supposed to rain so not there's not a lot of people oh, out there anyway and it was inspiration weekend the whole reason i went was for inspiration yeah, yeah. which is not for me <laughs> <laughs> right wait is inspiration weekend like that was the purpose of the trip or is that yeah, like the, show. okay yeah yeah it's like a vintage trade show got it got thing. it got yeah. it i didn't know that. i've heard good things about it. it's not you it's not i've heard that people i mean I don't know, the trade shows that james and i worked and are familiar with are like so bad that hearing the concept of a vintage trade show sounds awesome but it's not good they said it was good better in the past the problem with me is just that it's like the ralph team is there like all these designers are there and it's just like why it's do i want to see stuff that everyone else is seeing right the same shit sure you know sure. Which, I mean? so it and being a trade show can you not cop so they have like a preview for like the people who are exhibiting and a lot of people exhibit just to get the first day so they can get the better stuff got it but you can pay now to come in early hmm. and it's all capitalism like, bro it's all picked over Capital. The cottage industry around vintage and how it feeds into the fashion industry. I don't think it's a lot of it's a thing that people don't like talk about a lot, but it's like a huge part of there was a concept. There was a, it's, references. It's, yeah, there was crazy. a big yank shirt that was a woven label on the back that was never seen unwashed uh, was four thousand dollars. Damn cop. Yeah, they had somebody. I think they sold oh, it in the end. And that I was I was like, <laughs> I didn't have the money, but I was like, damn. I was like, if I, cause it was going That's to Japan, uncut, Jim. it was, it was going to Japan and I just didn't want it to go to Japan. I was like, oh, I wanted to stay. I wanted, stay I wanted to wear it. I wanted yeah, to be right, like, right. fuck you. Even though keep it America looks, swaggy. It just looks, a hot dog in that shit. It just looks like Drink a, a Budweiser. Show. Like yeah. you're not going to know. Sure. Do you know sure, what I mean? Sure. And then they had a jacket that was actually, it was like a liner jacket for a space suit that was actually, that actually went Whoa. to space. What? Yeah. Whoa. And that one was like 25 grand. Bro. <laughs> Cop? No. It was actually a really cool jacket though. But yeah, wait, they, so it was it worn in space or it was it was worn in space? Holy shit! Yeah, that's a piece of history. That's an intergalactic John. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Try that, Neil John Strong. <laughs> <laughs> so when you cop vintage, are you shopping to wear yourself? Because I usually do it. Is I it usually reference pieces. No, I usually for myself. But this time I'm, I have my business now, and I'm that's trying true. to think about things in a different way because I don't I don't want to. Uh, just, I don't want to, I just want to step away from my previous career as much as possible. So I'm trying to see things in a new way. And part of the process that me and my partner talked about was trying to do that. Mm. But I realized that it's not for me. Like a lot of the, like for me, I, my, my mind is my vintage shop, I guess. Right. For me, I'd rather just do it from my memory or just from like what I think huh. rather than like, you know, have this thing and be like, Hey, photocopy this. Right. Or, you, you don't know. want it to be one for one. You want like the version that exists in your own mind. That's like, has that you've already tweaked. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. But in Italy, unfortunately you need to have the stuff. Okay. You Got can't to hand off to the factory. Yeah, yeah. You have to, you have to have something like I, I draped a lot of stuff in New York from my collection. Like I, I, what I do is I'll go to like old Navy or something, get a size 40 pant and then go to the tailor right, right. and shape it. Chop and screwed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chop and <laughs> choppy slot. And then take that and make the pattern off of that. Right, right. That's crazy. You know? uh, but I can't do that all the time. Right. Uh, but actually the best That's thing- you're the pants model. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, the best thing I actually got was in Japan. It was like a woman's blouse. Ooh, that was sexy. like, I can't even say too much about it, but it was right. like, when I saw it, I was like, this is, secrets. I was like, this is the most amazing thing. But I've we're going to see- It was a vintage Yeah, blouse. it was vintage. We're going to yeah. see your interpretation of it coming up soon yeah what and you created like i guess you don't want to maybe you don't want to say but like a shirt i am gonna do a shirt out of it yeah Fire. it's like amazing but yeah is it gonna was, be boucle hmm. no no summer man summer we got to keep them clean and uh Lucy, clean and mean. Mean. yeah Lucy, yeah clean and mean. Viral angel before we get into the meat and potatoes of this podcast chuck i'm gonna need you to hit that motherfucking 
outro music. Uh-huh, honey. All the mother niggas lame and you know it now. When a real nigga hold you down, you supposed to drown. Bam. What you doing in the club on a Thursday? She said she only here for a girl birthday. They order champagne but still look thirsty. Rock forever 21 but just turned 30. I know I got a bad reputation. Walk around always mad reputation. Leave a pretty girl sad reputation. Start a fight club, bad reputation. I turned the nightclub bad at a basement. I turned the pain around, your ass keep complaining. How you gonna be mad on vacation? Ducking one around all these Jamaicans. Uh, this that prom shit. This that what we do, don't tell your mom shit. This that red cup all on the lawn shit. Get a fresh cut straight out the salon, bitch. I know. 